pretty much every profession of technical oh, here. Is it working? Uh, it's not for me. Uh, let me have a look. It's it's starting up, I think. Oh, pretty much every oh, profession. I think it's working. Oh, here. Is I it still working? I don't see it. Where, where uh, it is working because I've just now got a massive echo of everything. I need to mute stuff. Oh yeah, yep. Yeah, I also have to. I also yep, have to I can hear okay. myself. And so guys, all that. kind of a weird start mm. to the stream, but basically, you join me in the vehicle of everybody talking to my um to some of my Discord moderators who are much more technologically literate than I am. Basically, my computer kept on a blue screen of death thing whilst setting this screen up this stream up and for the live none of us can figure out why it's never ever done it ever before and it really makes no sense at all we've tried everything you guys can vouch for me right like i've tried a good number of things yes we've tried everything we've tried hacking the matrix the, the mainframe of the of the mm -hmm. of the, 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 the windows GUI, kernel of the kernel yep We've um we phoned Bill Gates. He didn't know anything. No, no, no. Either. Bill Microsoft. Bill Microsoft. That's it. And Tim Apple, just to be sure. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So um, we haven't tried Kanye West yet, but he's next. Oh, yeah, he's very busy, man. He's busy creating mm -hmm. a universe. Mm -hmm. that doesn't work, Elon Musk. So basically, we're we're gonna just go ahead and try this. But I'm aware this is gonna be like a 20-hour-long stream, and. Uh, my plan is that I'm going to go to bed for like part of this stream because I can't stay up for 20 hours streaming. So um, I've had to make so many saves, by the way, to keep testing. We were te I made so many saves just to test the stability of this. That's why there's so many um, quick saves. So, um, well, this is this is what we're doing. So for anyone who didn't read the title and thumbnail, is the title and thumbnail correct, guys, by the way? Because Streamlabs suddenly had a massive panic uh, attack when I tried firing it. It does seem, yeah, it has the same. Yep, looks fine. Also, I haven't been looking at the YouTube chat. That everyone can hear us, right? I think someone spamming a uh, boob in yeah, emojis, just, yeah. so just, we'll uh, fix that one. Let's just block that. We can put it on slow mode, possibly, can't we? Can you guys do that? I, do I have to do that? Yeah, I, I now realize I shouldn't have brought that up because now everyone is doing that, so that's a lot yep. of time out to do. <laughs> My bad. Can, can you guys uh, put it in slow mode? doesn't know the first rule of, uh, I don't think so. Because I'm yeah, really, don't, I'm, don't I'm terrified of minimizing KSP because that's like what. We got this. That's fine. Can, I don't think we can do. So you have a laptop those. to your side. There is no need for you to minimize oh my at God, all. I now. have a laptop to my side. Why am I so stupid? If you want to leave the Discord channel or move, we will do it for you. Yeah, <laughs> we'll puppeteer right. your account. Bad participant. Oh God, how do you even? How do you put it in slow mode? I'm so bad. To be honest, um, <laughs> YouTube's YouTube's moderation stuff isn't that great. Like compared to Twitch, no, it's not. They're trying, yeah, they're trying to encourage people to um, to move to YouTube. Yeah, so put it, it I still don't quite understand why they don't give, you know, some moderation controls like that to um, to yeah, moderators. like like on Twitch. Control Twitch has a Google the whole How do you put move. it in slow mode? This is a disaster. I believe it's, <laughs> it's in like I believe it's in the dashboard settings for it. Um, I'm oh, sorry. Uh, <laughs> uh, it's going really well. So... Create a live stream. After entering title description, click create screen, click settings, click live chat, and toggle on slow mode. That feels like it's draw the rest of the owl. Um, I'm on video. There's not there's video details. Where's live dashboard? Live chat, apparently. In your stream, like. Thing, I guess. So typing in the words live in YouTube Studio doesn't bring anything up, which is helpful. Uh, oh my god, why is it so difficult? I hate YouTube. <laughs> well, um, Susan, you'll be at your door now. Susan, at me. How do I... Susan, you hear? <laughs> Literally. Excuse me, I'm currently finding a kindly Middle Eastern man to give me a tutorial on this. It's because they've oh, made a, oh, they've got they've made, it's a new website. It's not in YouTube Studio. You've got to go to the live control room. I don't want to go live. I am live. Stupid YouTube. <laughs> oh my god. I'm going to have so to minimize to stream, KSP. Everyone. I'm going to have to minimize KSP. And the horror. So the, if the stream just dies. Blame Susan. <laughs> right, go live. It's still saying, do you want to go live? I am live. I'm literally live. I can see. 
So it's it's got a big pop up saying how do you want to go live, and underneath it's got this live stream. But I can't get to that live stream because I've got a. No, it's now wanting to open up my webcam, which isn't even plugged in. Oh my god, this is a nightmare. This is an actual nightmare. I don't this think you want to click go live because that's going to try and stream from your browser. I know. Literally, I'm so angry with YouTube. This is so... This is terrible. I just want to view my live dashboard. Like, it won't let me view it. It's showing me all the stats, but it's underneath like a big pop-up saying, start streaming. I was like, I, I've already started. Can I just block it with ad block? Just inspect your element your way through the UI. I haven't got time. I literally... I wasn't being serious. Hang on. I know. Uh, I'm just going to start. Uh, hang on, hang on. Uh, it's... Oh, I did it. There's a participant mode thing here. Oh, Is that good. Slow? It just shows me what, what streams I've got live now, and that's it. On your uh, on your dashboard, can you see anything with category, comments, and ratings, participant modes? No. Uh, this okay. streaming UI is terrible. Most of it is dedicated to set up your webcam. Do you want to try and screen share inside Discord? I'm so sorry, everyone. This stream is terrible. Everyone's it's, leaving. It's, it's, it's a nice behind the scenes. It's, it's a nice insight into my utter incompetence. That's this, the this streaming was the alternative UI. for having I've put a, a screenshot a in the chat. All right. Maybe try no, clicking no. on the stream. No, it Can doesn't do anything. Type. Uh, on the top left, isn't there like a little broadcast icon? Viewer activity. You it just says no super chats yet. Okay. Oh. Uh, and the three stripes. Wait, that if you I click on on that on that schedule, if you click on the actual stream, can you not see any details from it? Yeah, I am, but it doesn't show any unless I'm. Oh, there's a. It just lets me edit the metadata of the video. Yeah, settings. Okay, looks as it says. Go on settings. There is no settings. You just click on the live stream and it just brings up this massive... I think that was the old thing, but now they've brought in oh. this like live dashboard. And it's like, this is this is what it looks like. On the live yes. dashboard, uh, in the there is a chat module, oh. apparently, somewhere. Yeah. Ah. Here. Uh, oh, that seems viewer activity, maybe? No, it's not in viewer activity. <laughs> And viewer activity literally just says no super chats. My stream is healthy. Not many people are leaving the good, stream, which is good. Good heartbeat. No liver failure yet. <laughs> I just. Anything? Uh, what's under edit? Is that only for the metadata, though? That's literally just the metadata, yeah. Alright, alright. And um... with metadata, you mean title? Oh, I've made 61p from this stream, though, so that's good. <laughs> That's all we need. Um, <laughs> My is staff there not will a, um, is there is there a live chat scroll on the right hand side? Yeah, there is, but it's just the okay. same as the. On there, is there a little settings module just anywhere? Oh, um, Lix put in a message. Oh. Well, settings. Is this on the right. actual? Oh, right, yeah, on your actual video page that's got the live stream open. Oh. You can try that one. I'm on the actual video page with the live stream, yes. Where's, yeah, where's in, the cog? On the uh, top right of the actual... Above it? Mate, mate, where is that? Where is that one supposed to be? Oh, right, I see. Yeah, yeah the next cog next, next yeah. to end stream. I don't have a cog. I've just got a share button. This is what Wait, mine is looks like. On the stream That's what page. I have. <laughs> Classic. Oh. Um, try the three dots on your stream. I can, I can insert maybe? an ad. <laughs> you can, and the three dots on the top right of the chat window itself. No, it doesn't, that doesn't do oh, anything. That. That is, it just shows you the list of all the participants. Okay, well that's uh, and it tells incredibly you... helpful, isn't it? I might just call Tim. He streams a lot. <laughs> what time is it in Idaho right now? 
Uh, <laughs> decent time, I guess. It's not night time, so. You know what? I th I'm just I gonna... mean, uh... So, guys, for anyone who's just joined, basically what happened was, whilst I was setting this stream up, my computer kept going onto blue screen of death, and I was like, oh my god, this cannot happen whilst I'm doing a 20-hour live stream with no quick saves or reverts and all that. So, um, we were trying to troubleshoot it, and then the stream then started, and now we're trying to sort out slow mode for the chat because it came out of control. Have... And YouTube, it would seem, have just removed the ability to... But how the fuck is it this hard to set up slow mode? <laughs> it was. It used to be so simple. And now... It is not. No, Nick's clicking on my profile picture doesn't do anything. It just That just takes me back to YouTube Studio. What, what a People surprise. don't give me... Don't Thank you for the super chat, but please, Craig Johnson, <laughs> but... Oh, oh, he said, please shout out to Shirley, who sat next to me on Facebook. Hello, Shirley. You should, um... Do, watch this, <laughs> Uh, oh, by the way, you missed two others. Oh, Just yeah. Oh, I'm up. so sorry. For, this is kind of a bit frantic. I can't really look at the chat whilst also doing this. So I'm so sorry if I missed your super chat. Don't fund this. <laughs> but I guess shout out to <laughs> Czechoslovakia. Do not give me credit for this. Uh, I can still see them. Shout out to Czechoslovakia for the two years. Oh, oh I did it. I found it. Oh, I found it. Did you ah! it? <laughs> <laughs> right. Slow mode is set to 60 seconds. Yes. Oh, beautiful. Oh, wow. Oh, actually, my, you know what? My, I don't even know how I did that. I was just clicking everything. My YouTube so not... actually functioning a bit more. I can actually see the super chats now. Yeah. Okay, well, so I, now I it, it should up, calm down a little bit. Um, Matt, you got uh, $10 from Josh Carey saying it's, what, three days there and three days back at least. I don't think it's that long, is it? It's about 11 hours there. Mm. Um, and my I... timeline I've, like, planned... So, the timeline. It's now 20 past 9 in the UK. I plan to get to low carbon orbit parking orbit by half past 9. We should then complete our carbon to Mun burn at 10 o'clock for me. And then I will go to sleep. And at 9 a.m. the next day, uh, we should have reached the Mun. And then we'll do our Mun insertion burn. And by half past nine in the morning tomorrow for the UK, we'll have landed on the surface. We'll then spend about an hour on the surface to allow the command module to make one full orbit around the moon, at which point we'll then launch and dock with the command module. Um, and then we should, and then we should be able to do our curb into moon burn. That should be done by 11.15 tomorrow morning. And then we will be re-entering Kerbin's atmosphere about eight hours later. So this should be done in the UK time, which is GMT plus UTC plus one, because BST, isn't it? My British people in this chat can help me here. <laughs> so it'll be yeah. done by quarter to six tomorrow. So in universal coordinated time, that's quarter to five. And that's my plan. Or my computer will blue screen of death and we, who knows where I'll be. <laughs> and then we'll start drinking. Well, yeah. I'm, I'm very drunk anyway, guys. Like, I don't know about you guys. Okay, well, drunk on life, guys. This is a family-friendly stream. What I might do uh, is, uh, what um, I'll have Beth join this chat that you guys are on, and I'll just duck out so I can um, talk to the the stream, and that's sure. the, the, my stream can be what I planned it to be. Well, if you have any more issues, uh, Christian Sampson in chat said it's two seventeen p.m. in uh, Idaho. In case you need to talk to Tim, so. I think we we figured it out now, Tim. I think we're fine. <laughs> All right, see you guys. Okay, I've now hung up on Discord. Right, welcome to the stream, everyone. <laughs> We're just going to pretend that, that none of that happened. Um, I'm almost tempted to press end live stream on YouTube and then just restart and act like none of that farce happened for the last 15 minutes. But hey, what are you going to do? So, obviously the stream has just started. So what we're doing is we're doing a real-time MUN mission. We're going to be flying this magnificent rocket you see before you to the MUN. We're not going to be using any time warp uh, or any quick saves or anything like that. I will probably make quick saves throughout the mission just so that later on if I want to get like thumbnail shots and stuff I can just reload bits of what we did to get the photos but I'm not planning on using them. Or if like the game 
I'm tempted to, when we land on the Mun, for example, make a quick, quick save, because I've had times where a Kerbal has just exploded when on a ladder for some reason. So if something like that happens, I'll quick load. But if I crash, I crash. It's very sad. We'll just have to try the stream again a different day. And I've got a nice free Blunderbirds episode. So, chat. It's slow mode, so this might be interesting. But can we get a countdown from 10? And we will launch this rocket. I realise there's now... A I think there's like a 20 second delay from uh, when uh, when I say something to when you guys hear me. So I'm just sort of watching. Oh, someone has written blue ability has hit us off with a 10. We've gone straight to five. Uh, we've got an I am fish. We've got another 10. We've got another press Z. Then a 10. Then a nine. Oh, oh, okay. It's everything's uh, uh, we're still on the 10s. Um, there's a five. There's a 4.2. There's a two. There's a one. We probably got it. We probably got it somewhere in there, didn't we? And we are off. This is literally the most stressed I've ever been in a Kirby launch ever. I am just going to. Uh, there's not that much stress on it actually right now, right? Because like we're early enough in the stream where if the rocket like flips over or something, or I somehow fail to reach low Kirby orbit, then it doesn't really matter a great deal. I can just restart the mission because. You, you know, <laughs> it's early enough. I'm more like terrified of when it comes to the Mun landing. Like, I can land on the Mun. I would like to think I'm generally pretty good at this video game, but I don't know if the pressure's gonna crack after the game's been running 11 hours just for this one moment, if I'm just gonna fail spectacularly. And I'm like having to talk and also play the game and i'm a terrible multitasker anyone that knows me in real life i just can't talk and do things at the same time so um yeah that's my plan so i'm sort of i i, I see that some of you have left super chats and i really thank you so much it's really hard for me to i'm gonna like with each like break like between two segments then i can just pour like stop what i'm doing on the game and just start looking at like the super chats and stuff. But at the moment, I'm just having to concentrate. So I actually have a bit more fuel in this rocket than what I really need. I'm not planning on doing a particularly uh, efficient MUN landing. I'm just gonna have loads of fuel so I can easily, because I think it's gonna be really hard to do without time warp, because I'm so used to just spamming time warp and then burning a bit and spamming time warp to the point where I'm not sure if I can, how easy it will be to do a MUN mission without time warp, if that makes any sense at all. Oh, so we're first to stage is uh, out of fuel. <laughs> stage. And then we're going to ignite. There's one of the scary escape system right now. That was really scary. Something was going to explode. And there we are. We are on our way to low Kirby orbit. Do you know what I'm like most scared of? I've set this, like, objective of no time warp, but I'm so worried that I've just developed this, like, muscle memory to just automatically just spam the time warp buttons. Uh, like, well, I'll just do it subconsciously, and then five minutes later I'll be like, oh my god, I've just been time warping this whole time, and I've just didn't even acknowledge that. One thing you guys might like, actually, if you look at the um, Kerbal Engineer readout at the top of the screen, so to the right of the... Oh, I just realized my stream, my obnoxious stream UI is covering up Kerbal Engineer. Oops. Um, but anyway, this part of Kerbal Engineer isn't covered up, so it's fine. It's this, the system time. So you can actually see what the time is for me. And that just makes it a bit more fun. So if I'm not in the chat, and you can't hear me talking, you can just look at system time and like, oh, it's 3 a.m. So uh, I'll be drunk in some kebab shop somewhere. That's what's probably going to be happening at that sort of time. Uh, just, uh, I'm not going to circularize at this stage. In fact, actually, I've not been flying as efficiently as I would have hoped because I've, again, just been waffling on. I don't multitask very well. So uh, I'm not going to reach full circularization with this stage. I'm just trying to uh, get as close to circularization as possible. The real, the full circularization will be done with this stage here. The other thing, guys, that I'm terrified of, and I think I might permit myself to use quick saves for, is if I accidentally press space, I know you can lock the staging button, but I've forgotten how. And because of all the blue screen of death issues I've had, I don't want to. 
risk it, basically. <laughs> uh, yeah, what do you think of this uh, rocket, by the way? Probably, oh yeah, we're not actually on an ultra sub ultra stretch yet, are we? That. Probably want to go, oh, perhaps it's like maybe 80,000. Or 90,000. Ah, that's good enough. We can call that stage spent there. What is this? Okay, so that's fine. So there go the fairings. Beautiful. That stage. Guys. It's already happened. I very, I just instantly went for the for the time warp button. I was like, no, we don't time warp here now. Okay, I now instantly regret uh, doing my orbit like this because now we've got a nine minute wait until we can circularize. So we'll plan that maneuver node, and then we've got nine minutes to just sit around. We may as well set this the Mun as our target as well. Where is, okay, yeah. So we want to be setting our maneuver node to effectively be sort of 90 degrees away from it, which would be here. So we'll circularize and um, we'll go from there basically. So let's just, uh, I tell you what I should have done is this. I know I've technically paused the game. So have I, uh, already kind of broken the challenge in a sense because I've manipulated time. I hope not. We could have music, can't we? Because normally I play without the music because I'm like speeding the footage up and all that. But because this is real time, right? I could just have the music on. There we go. I'm very tempted to just quickly hop in and out of time warp just to make these fairings despawn. Um, but it's, it, it's fine. It's fine. I hope you guys can hear me, by the way. I didn't actually ask the chat if you could um, hear, hear, hear me, but I think someone would have said something by now, right? So, let's see. We've got 8 minutes and 40 seconds. Yeah, great. So, what do we talk about for um, 8 minutes? So, yes, I'm just going to look at some chats now. So, now is the time to ask me questions. Let's see. Uh, Python Protogen asks, are you going to be uploading the stream later on as a video once this is all done? That is my plan. Yes, it is. Um, someone is saying loud game. I tell you what, now we've got some, um, you know, feedback. In-game volume is super loud. Got it. Because of the difficulties I've had with blue screen of death, I'm just going to uh, do it using the in-game thing. Again, I've manipulated time once again. So it's about half the uh, uh, time now. It's great. I'm just going to open up the stream on my phone and uh, listen to it myself so I can make sure it sounds okay without having to rely on like a bit of an audio delay stream. So let me get my, uh, my other headphones out. Just whack them into my, uh, what are we doing for the time? We've got seven minutes, fine. Let's see. Where's, how do I view my channel on my phone? Your channel. Oh, I'm streaming, that's fun. Right, let's have a little listen. Uh, where's my headphones? Oh! Okay, yeah, that sounds fine to me. Uh, I think it sounds fine to you guys, right? Yep, all sounds are good. So now, uh, yeah, I see some people are getting a little bit stressed. That's okay. I know I have to reconfigure the ship. I probably should have done that actually from the get-go, shouldn't I? But uh, it's it's fine. For safety, let's just uh, fold in all of our things that can break stuff. Right, here we go. So we're going to undock. Gonna control from here. Probably not necessary because it's in line with the command pod, but you know. Gonna just get away from that. And then that's our target. I'd say let's see. That's probably a safe point to turn around. Look at that. So our target and the retrograde thing are um perfectly aligned. I'd say maybe point. Five is a good speed, isn't it? 
aim camera. Someone asked, can you do this sort of thing for Juna? Um, you technically can, but that's like a lot. <laughs> I think that's going to be a very, very lengthy stream. So the ship is almost reconfigured. There's a couple of things we still need to do. We need to first of all disable crossfeed uh, here and disable crossfeed here. Activate this engine. Uh, what is our time to apoapsis, by the way? 529. Five oh, hang on. I don't know if. Burn time three seconds. That sounds about right for a poodle engine, right? 39 seconds. Let's just open up the solar panels and stuff again. I disabled crossfeed there, and I disabled crossfeed here. Great. And that is full. Cool. Oh, wow. I can't wait to read all of the same comment of people saying, lol, do this mission for you. <sighs> I had to stop myself from pressing time warp again. This is going to be tough. I mean, the thing I'm, like, terrified about, guys, is, like, ultimately, like, uh, leaving the uh, computer. Because every, a lot of the time when this blue screen's during tests, I just happened to be out of the room. Like, I was just making myself a drink. Uh, or I was, like, making some cereal or something to get me, like, a, get a, give me some energy for the live stream. Uh, yeah, someone said you should unbind the time warp button. That that would have been a good idea. I, I thought I just... I, I, this was a very spontaneous decision, this live stream. I thought, yeah, this would be kind of a fun thing to do. And also I hadn't made a video. Alt plus L locks the stage. I think you are right, but I, it's fine. It will be fine. Don't worry. What I might do, actually, is... Um, I'm going to make a quick save in case I press the wrong button. So quick save, I think this is fine because it's only going to be like a couple of seconds. Can I disable... Um, no. I was going to see if you could like uh, enable and disable staging when you're not um, in the, uh, the vehicle standing building. So serial at 10 o'clock, DHM. Incorrect. I see you have just joined and missed the bit at the beginning where here you can see it says my system time. So you can see what the time is in real life for me. So um, so you know what time it is, basically. So this was like, I didn't eat, like, the second this live stream started. This was like maybe 8 o'clock, so still pretty late. Um, but uh, someone said, um, Ast Asterism, is this meant to take around 7 hours? No, I'm estimating this to take about 20 hours, to be honest. It'll be done. On, so on UTC time, it'll be done by quarter to five tomorrow afternoon. So 16.45. Just so we can confuse the Americans. Alt F4 turns off time walk. Oh, I'll just try that. Ha ha. You forget that I'm an old person. I know of these, uh, I know of these, uh, b b um, what are they called? Tricks. Ancient magic. How's the um, chat UI, by the way? I haven't streamed for ages. It seems to be sh working well, though, on my little Streamlabs thing. One of the things that, like, seems to always trigger the blue screen of death was... Uh, uh, oh, I'll tell you what we can do. It was um, having Kerbal Space Program, like, minimized. Like, and uh, so... Uh, problem is... Kerbal Space Program doesn't have, like, proper borderless window mode. So if I want to click on, like, stream la stream labs or, like, the YouTube chat or something like that, then I it basically just minimizes Kerbal Space Program, even though the game purports to be in borderless full screen. So, uh, yeah, I could press the click the flight view button, but that's very close to the space bar, and I'm a bit scared of pressing the space bar. Even though I think nothing would happen right, because our stage has got a bit messed up here, so it would probably start the Terrier engine before it would start decoupling stuff. Yeah, there's Bill and Bob. Yeah, if I was smart, I would have like just done like an auto clicking program. So during the so like the long periods where I'm away, it would just cycle through like map screen and then exterior view and then interior view, and it would like be each screen would be like a minute and it would just cycle through them all. But you know, you're asking a lot. This is the Matt Lown fast channel. Like maybe if this stream does well and people like it, we can do this sort of thing again. But for say Minmus. 
And then I could set that up because that's going to have even longer coasting periods. Or we could just do another Mun mission. Like, you know, there are Apollo missions. There were a lot of Apollo missions, weren't there? There was uh, 11, 12, thir not 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, so 6. I'm great at maths, Lee. Um, so we got we got the chance, the opportunity to do six of these. And hey, I don't even know if this mission is going to work. I'm like quite stressed actually about it not working because like my uh, reputation as a Kerbalist is uh, kind of resting on this. Mm. Having a sip of water, by the way. I've got my nice um, insulated water bottle from Pro Bike Tool. They didn't sponsor this uh, stream, but I just kind of wanted to fill out the uh, the talking stuff because there's going to be a lot of, uh, how you say, dead space in this live stream because uh, it's just like stuff's happening in real time, right? But yeah, here we go. So our next burn is rapidly approaching. It's happening in uh, 10 seconds. So uh, we may as well just get ready to perform this next sta next stage of the mission. There we go. And there we are. That's a beautiful burn right there. Ooh, didn't quite get it. It's fine. If I wanted to be super realistic, I would have just about done like one burn, but um, but I, I, I didn't. Okay, so we are now in a parking orbit. Now I'm going to create a quick save here. Uh, not because I want to use it, but just so like I said earlier, if I want to make like thumbnails or just like make a little fun album highlighting all the moments of the mission uh, i can do that by just sort of going off quick saves i made at various points but i don't intend on actually using them as quick saves so to get a man encounter we're going to make a moon node 90 degrees away from it like this and bada boom and the man rotates this way now i want to be in a 90 degree orbit ideally did I create the mini? Oh. Why is it on? Oh, I'm so bad at Kerbal Space. <laughs> Getting to the Mun is really difficult for me, it would seem. Someone saying BSOD. Oh. I just, like, had, like, flashbacks to, like, troubleshooters. Like, someone says, think about, oh, yeah, there's a known correspondence between KSP and Blue Screen of Death. So. Ideally, I want to get a um, equatorial orbit from LKO, or as close to equatorial as possible. Uh, so I don't have to do like a burn like in the middle of the night for me. <laughs> Obviously, I want a slightly equatorial orbit, aren't I? Whoops. Can I manipulate this? Probably not. Probably not. This is fine. Oh, nearly... I have, like, way more Delta V in this stage than I really need. You know what? This is fine. We're just going to go for this. Let's go for a pair of like, 30k. So if I aim for, sort of, 32, that's probably pretty good, isn't it? And that's more or less equatorial, isn't it? So I have now plotted that. We're going to point to our, on the maneuver node. We've got 15 minutes now. On which I've got to just spont I've got to talk, which is real. I mean, did, did anyone did anyone in the chat? Oh, actually, I can engage with the chat chat for a bit. I can do that. I'm gonna have another sip of water. Actually, I'm like roasting alive in my room. Ah, oh. oh, there we go. Oh, I've just noticed. Um, I can see the super chats in stream de in Streamlabs. Oh, never mind. I have to click off KSP in order to scroll through them, and I'm terrified of doing that in case it causes blue screen of death. But I can see that uh, nine minutes ago, Sean McElroy super chatted $5. Thank you very much, Sean. We also got one from Pipes underscore, who uh, super chatted £2. Get Bob in the boat to kill Matt. Well, I'm not going to do that, am I? And, uh, and then we got one from Cameron Pack, who super chatted two pounds, and he wrote Mun, but spelt it wrong. He wrote it M Umlaut U N. This is a big so. Chat. Let's settle this. Is it pronounced Mun or is it pronounced Moon? I'm just gonna sit here and just watch the chaos unfold. If you think it's pronounced Moon, spell it M O O N. If you think it's pronounced Mun, spell it M U N. 
Let's see what people say. People are saying the audio is a bit low, but I don't know, like my microphone gain is turned up pretty high. I think it's just I've got a bit of a sensitive microphone, so you just have to turn your... Like, is the volume balance okay? Now, that's the important thing. Is the music too loud? Everyone, look, I'm seeing more Muns. I think Mun is winning. Mun, 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 Mun. I think, oh, I saw a couple of moons, but Mun is definitely... I think Mun's taken it. Mun has taken it. And now, guys, I'm going to try and just undo this chaos in which I have woven into the chat. And say, like, is the audio balance okay? I had a couple before the Mun spam. Uh, oh, okay, okay, so, uh, X, oh, he had a weird name, I couldn't say, I said the audio is okay, so that's fine. Yeah, this particular background song is one of the louder ones in KSP. It's weird that I kind of know stuff like that, because when I edit my videos, I have the KSP soundtrack in the background, and some of the songs need turning much lower, like the volume needs turning down a lot more than others, and I know this is one of the louder ones. <laughs> that's weird, like, I think... If I were to say set my volume to be like zero, this song would have to be set to minus 23 if we're going on like scales of audio volume. Very scientific way of wording that I know. No, oh, someone said music's too high, but I think more people are saying it's fine. So we'll we'll we'll, we'll call it fine. We'll call it fine. Uh, whiskey review. I could do a whiskey review later. Because once we're on the cruise to the Mun, I've then got 11 hours of just sitting around waiting. So, yeah, I can just get just get absolutely smashed and then accidentally press stuff on the keyboard. <laughs> um, one thing, so there are a couple of things I want to point out. I realize that we have a few more viewers now joined since the very beginning, since that whole debacle of trying to just fix YouTube's terrible streaming UI. But basically, I'm doing a real-time mission to the Mun, so no time warp, no quick saves, what have you. I might, you might see me making quick saves every now and then. That's just to kind of like create points where I can go back and then get like screenshots and stuff to get a little memory album of what we did. But I'm not going to use them. Um, I have a couple of things. So I have my system time here, so you can see what time it is for me in real time because I am going to. It's going to be like a 20-hour long mission. So I'm going to have to go to bed at some point. So if you come here and I'm not talking, it's probably because I'm asleep. Here is the time for me. Um, and what was the other thing I did? Oh, yes. I also set the in-game time to be Earth time. So what that means is that I'm assuming everyone here has played Kerbal Space Program or has at least watched a Kerbal Space Program video. So on a trip to the Mun, the, uh, the little in-game timer here will say something along the lines of, I don't know time to encounter one day two hours what that means is eight hours because a kerbal day is six hours so that would just make things a bit confusing because obviously we operate we operate on a 24 hour clock on earth right and this mission in theory should be less than 24 hours so i've set the in-game timers to all work on earth time so instead of when we p plot our trip to the mun it will um it will say, like, time to encounter will, say, be, like, 11 hours. It won't say one day and five hours. If that makes sense. I hope that made sense. Thank you so much for the super chat, by the way. Uh, Photon Bread, who pledged uh, US $199. Thank you very much. Uh, thoughts on KSP2? I'm beyond ready. I'm, uh, you know, hoping for the best with KSP2. I think that's what you can realistically do uh with with games i don't like getting too hyped up for video games that aren't out because you're only gonna set yourself up a disappointment but they seem like the the guys that are doing it that i have a lot of faith in the guys i have spoken personally with nate simpson uh before and he's a pretty like he, i i trust nate so i'm hoping it'll be good uh when it's out and you know of course it'll um elongate my career a bit right because <laughs> uh my uh I think there's an... My, I can't only really carry on making Kerbal Space Program 1 videos for so long right before it's basically... I've done everything possible. So, um, what time is it, by the way? 9 minutes 40. I need to keep watching, like... So when will this be? I'm just going to quickly make a note, because I've got a big clock on my desk. So it's about 10 minutes from now. So 21.52 on my clock. I'll click back at the screen. Um, someone said, do you know Subnautica? Subnautica. This is like an age-old question, isn't it? Where... 
people will say, if you could play, if you could just erase your memory of one video game, just you could play it again with no memory of that game, what would it be? And hands down for me, it's Subnautica. Not even, don't have to think about it for a second. That game literally changed. That, that was just, it's such a good game. I freaking love Subnautica. Brilliant game. I highly recommend. I'm currently playing a lot of Open TTD as well. That's a great game as well. It's destroying my relationship with my girlfriend. But, you know, she's just going to have to wait. Planning my coal trains is more important. You know, you really got to optimize your stations. I've really, I've really got it down, optimizing my, my quadruple platform stations now in major cities. I usually do like a, a tunnel that diverts so all the cargo trains can get round it so it doesn't disrupt the flow. Mwah. It's great. I'm going to just turn my channel into an Open TTD channel, I think. Um, right. Someone asked, are you going to waste additional fuel to make it faster? I did consider this, right? Because Scott Manley and a few others, but the Scott Manley is the one I remember. I think Strats and Blitz might have done it as well. They just did a ridiculously overkill Mun rocket that can just get to and from the Mun in an hour. Like an hour real time, not an hour with like time warp. Like with time warp, you can get to and from the Mun in like five minutes. Um, but I thought it'd be more fun. Like that's not really the spirit of what I'm trying to do here. This is me just doing, like, an Apollo mission. Like, obviously, I'm guessing most of us, there might be a few older people in this chat who were alive for the real Apollo mission. Most of us weren't there. So this is kind of like nothing like that at all. But it's kind of like the same, right? Because you're watching it happen in real time. I just thought it'd be kind of fun. And I think it'd be more, for me personally, it's more of a thing to say, like, yeah, I did that. That's just something I did. Kind of neat. I don't know. Just that. Uh... I've burned through my water bottle. Thing is, I prepped all these water bottles, but then my computer had all these issues. I had to keep running up and downstairs, and now they're all trapped. Like all my water bottles are in the kitchen, and I can't get to them. I'm just gonna text my girlfriend to see if she can. Ah, oh, she's in the chat. Beth, can you um, can you bring my water bottles up to the, to the to the office? My uh, they're both in the the fridge. Now there's like a 10 second delay. Oh. I'm just checking to the guys on Discord. Beth, like, are you listening to the, to the stream? Oh my god. So it's Beth Crossley is the moderator. C can everyone just, like, comment asking Beth Crossley to, um, to bring me my water bottles? Can you guys do that in the chat? <laughs> this is like, um, this is like how, uh, how lazy I am. Is this available on Twitch? I, I did consider, like, doing that thing where you can, uh, stream to multiple places but um I, I just i never bothered yes yes everyone say beth bring matt's water don't just say hi beth <laughs> yes bring matt's water come on chat we've got a bit of a slow bit here john richards could the latest rush yes beth's here you've only brought one of my water bottles up I wanted both of them. Chat! You let me down! Beth, you... <laughs> yeah, I know, but I can't minimize KSP because I'll get a blue screen of death. <laughs> I would like my other water bottle, please. It's the, white, it's the white one. The Elite Fly. It looks like this one, but it's white. I don't think it's in the fridge. I'm not sure where it is. You can watch the stream on YouTube. You can just connect to Wi-Fi. You're not going to slow the stream down on Ethernet. And I'm using upload, not download. This is, like, really exciting for the chat, by the way, listening to this. This is great. <laughs> Beth, go on, get my water. What are you still standing there for? God. Women. JK, JK. Didn't even get my water. <laughs> Yes, <laughs> God has written, bring the Jack Daniels. I mean, if it's coming from God, then I'm going to move this actually so you can sort of more easily see the time to I move. Mean, I guess you can't really see it. Oh. Can we move the Jack Daniels as well? No. <laughs> Right, um, I, this is, I'm just going to address a question that no one's asked recently, but it has been asked before, and that's why aren't you doing a face cam? And first of all, like, I've just got home from work, 
after a long shift and I, I cycle to work so I'm always exhausted when I get back I'm just drenched in sweat so I had a shower I just got a chain I just couldn't be bothered to make myself look presentable I'm wearing like a stained t-shirt I'm, I'm a mess and uh, then obviously I've got to go to bed and then tomorrow I've got to wake up in early uh, and then start the stream again and then Go about my day, and it's going to be hard to keep maintaining myself looking like presentable, like especially when I get up in the morning first thing. I have to wake up, get my sort my cat's food out and stuff. Like it's a, I I can't I can't be bothered to factor in making myself look stream presentable. So yeah, but I mean, this is the first live show I think I've ever done where I didn't have the camera. To be fair, and I will, I um I will do that again at some point. Uh, I'm this is all like a trial run really for streaming on this channel. I'm just creating, I'm just creating quick saves into Vindy just in case the game just crashes to desktop and uh, I, I, and I feel like if it crashes to desktop or something like that, that isn't my fault, then it's kind of acceptable to just reload a quick save. Hurricane Cam when that would be quite cool actually, because who's that? Uh, the Australian music man, what's his name? Dank Pods. He when he streams, he's got like a snake cam, hasn't he? That sounds like an innuendo, doesn't it? But he's got a pet snake. <laughs> it's the Frank cam. Maybe I should get a Hurricane cam. Although Hurricane is not like a snake. It'll just run away from the camera. Like, if you guys have seen my second channel videos, which you all should have, and you should all be subscribed, then whenever Hurricane is shown the cam, I think he's just scared of the camera. Although, have there's a video coming uh, maybe this Sunday. I don't know yet. I don't know if it's going to be ready to be edited. But uh, Hurricane does actually engage with the camera. He sniffs it. He gives it a little boop. It's very cute. You can go on my Twitter. It's like one of the most recent tweets I've made. Um, was, was, a, was a photo of that. Okay, cool. Oh, and anyone was asking about graphics mods. Um, if you go on like YouTube search and type in Matt Lown Ultra Graphics Mods, how to make mods tutorial, something like that. It, I did a tutorial this year, in fact. When I say this year, I mean 2022. Um, what else would that mean? Uh, and I, I kind of walk through what mods I have, and, ex and I just tell you exactly how to install them. Uh, here is my the version of my game down here. Um, so I just walk through. This is how you download the mods. This is how you install the mods. These are the exact mods that I use. In the description are the links that will take you to download all of the mods. If you just follow this video, your game will look like this. I've tried to make it as foolproof as possible. You don't need to use like CCAN or any other installers. I did, I uninstalled WinRAR as well, just so I could show you using like the stock Windows unzip stuff. Just so, and thank you for reminding me there's a burn scene by the way, I'm looking <laughs> uh, a minute away. Uh, yeah, so I, I, I'm quite proud of that tutorial. It's, uh, yeah. What I'll do, guys, I'll do an EVA once we've done our, um, once we've done the burn. Because after we've done this burn, we're, that's it. We're going to be coasting for a while. Like, when I say a while, I mean 11 hours. Oh, thanks, Alex, but spelt 4L pound X. That changed my life. Thank you. Well, you're welcome. So here we are. Hey, do you guys want to see what's in the land? In the lander, by the way, uh, we got. Let's see. This is the batteries here. That's the less exciting side. This side we have our science experiments. I've got a little ladder here, so when the kerbals are on the surface of the mun, there's a little ladder there, so they can access that little science bay. I'm kind of terrified that they might accidentally tip the lander over, so I don't know if I'll actually use it. I'm really hoping. I have tested this like lander on like sloped surfaces to make and i know it's about to burn by the way um and it seems to have a pretty good center of gravity so it shouldn't tip over i am nonetheless kind of scared i mean worse comes to worse and the stream is a disaster and everything is lost i get a good blunderbirds episode out of it right and there we are we have begun our mun insertion burn look at that This is actually really exciting, isn't it? I'm quite excited. This is quite cool. Um, it feels a lot more significant. I don't know. We're watching history being made. <laughs> Maybe I should just talk about this on Space This Week. I don't know what I'm going to talk about in Space This Week so far. There's a few things. There's not a lot's happened really with Starship yet. 
Uh, oh yeah, this is the whole thing actually. I started this whole debate. Actually, I don't want to get into this massive tangent because I'm doing a big long burn. Uh, but what was I going to say? Uh, gosh, what was I going to say? Anyway, yeah, I'm not going to get into a big long tangent because I just want to watch the burn, not mess this up. So I'll exp I'll go into what I want to talk about about regarding the Mun versus Moon pronunciation. And they go, <laughs> do you feel like Neil Armstrong yet? Not yet. But uh, I am feeling rather buzzed. I'm not drunk, by the way. <laughs> it came across as a bit not how I want it to. So I'm going to just... Oh my god, I nearly did it again. I nearly just instinctively reached for the uh, time warp button. Okay, so we are approaching the end of the burn. Five, four, three... I'm just going to drop down the throttle now so we can get that perhaps it's really fine-tuned. Here we go. Just going to stay silent for a bit now just to watch my orbital line. Here we go. So I want it to be about 32. Oh. Oh. I'm just going to use RCS to do the final bits. <laughs> there we are. Perfect. I'm going to make a quick save here. Actually, this is going to be one of my quick saves where it's like, Mun, burn, done. Again, in case you're just joining, because I'm aware the view account has sort of changed a little bit, I'm not creating these quick saves with any intention to use them. I'm just creating them to mark various points. So if I wanted to create nice little screenshots and thumbnails later on, then I can do that using these... Uh, I can just load these quick saves after the mission has hopefully successfully concluded. So there we are. We are oh, that's fun, isn't it? This is a scatterer glitch. There we are. So yeah, we now have naught to do uh, for the next eleven hours and fifteen minutes. So uh, I didn't really have a plan for this. <laughs> We can go on an EVA though. It's just a. Uh... But this is a. We can do a quick overview of the ship. So, yes. Uh, someone says, Are you ever going to archive this stream in its entirety on YouTube or will it be gone to the ages? I would like to, to save this as a video. That's kind of one of the things I want this to be. Um, because it's a long video, so I make a lot of money from it, right? JK, that's not why. Can we get a live whiskey review? If you guys want a live whiskey review, I can do a live whiskey review. The only whisker I have in this house, I think, is Jack Daniel's old number seven. Um, contrary to the persona I paint online, I'm not actually constantly drinking whiskeys. I try not to drink too, too much. Um, but I do have some old number seven in the house right now. Do I have a beer? No. A beer would have been a good thing to do. Uh, I accidentally got a bit tipsy yesterday, actually, because um, I I was doing I was cooking a curry yesterday. I do like making a nice curry, and I like to just have a beer when I'm cooking my curry because it's like just a nice thing to sip whilst you're sort of cooking and mixing. And this was a beer I picked up from like uh, the off license on the way back from work. I just swung in on my bicycle, walked in, bought a nice, interesting looking beer. It was a um, it was a brew dog beer that I'd never heard of, and I'm like, that looks cool. Let's try that. So I drank it, and then like halfway through my pint, I was like, oh, I feel a bit tipsy. And I looked at the can, and it was like 9% strength. And I'm like, oh, this is effectively two pints I'm drinking right now. So that was a bit of a whoops moment. Because I didn't really eat during the day. I generally only eat one meal a day. And I do quite a lot of exercise. Like I cycle to and from work, which is, you know, I'd say that's a pretty decent amount of exercise. And I'm fairly active in my job. I'm on my feet all day. So I'm usually pretty hungry and pretty empty in the whole stomach when it comes to uh, cooking. So yeah, it doesn't take much. But I've had a bowl of cereal today. So, you know, I've, I've had my food. People are asking for an IVA. I can give you an IVA. I can give the people what they want. There we are. I can give you a Jebediah's IVA. I can give you Bill or Bob's IVA. I'm not sure which one is which. There's the other one. And then back to Jeb. Literally, guys, uh, it is really scary. Is it Alt-L that locks staging?
I don't know if that did it. Guys, would you hate me if I did a quick save? Just tested if Altel locked the stage and then quick loaded if it didn't. Nah, that's not really the spirit of things. I'll just try not to press the space bar. We'll do that. I'm kind of scared of my cat running into the office in the middle of the night and uh, just jumping on the keyboard and messing everything up. Um, so, um, chat. Why don't you ask Beth to bring some whiskey? And whilst I wait for the audio to catch up, uh, I'll go through the little Mun debate. So basically, this whole debate about is it Mun or is it Moon is because people seem to think it's spelt with like M, U, but with an umlaut on top, like the two dots, N. And that would be pronounced Moon. But it's not spelt like that. The only place it's spelled like that, and the reason why this whole conception is comes from, is on the main screen when there's like a crashed spaceship on the mun, on, on the mun. It says moon or bust on the side of it. So if you like start Kerbal Space Program, the default title screen is the three Kerbals floating in space. But if you enter another menu or exit to the main menu after already loading up the game. Um, it then has the MUN loading screen, doesn't it? And in that loading screen, that's the only place in which the word MUN is spelled with an umlaut. Everywhere else, it's M-U-N in the game files, in the metadata, it's all MUN. And there have been interviews with squad employees, and they all say MUN. So, that's um, that's my that's my stance there. And also, it's not Kerbal, like that, over there, the sun, the sun. It's not called Kerbal, it's called the sun. Like, uh... If I uh, focus on it, oh, that's my ship. Did I? Oh, oh, I went past it. Uh, <laughs> Bow, Tyler, Bop, Paul, Elu, Warpent, my ship. The sun, you see, it's never called Kerbal anywhere in the game at all. I'm pretty sure that's going to change because, like, in KSP two, the interviews with the staff, like with Nate and all that. They all say Kerbal and the Kerbal system, and obviously with they're gonna there's gonna be more star systems in Kerbal Space Program too. Um, they would probably want to have slightly more distinct names for the stars rather than just the sun. So I imagine in the sequel it's gonna be called Kerbal. But yeah, here's a little fun fact: in the first game, to th this game, the only game so far, it's never actually referred. Oh. Sorry, I kicked my fan over. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, it's it's never called Kerbal in the game. It's only ever called the Sun. So there you go. Fun, fun little fact. Yeah, people aren't um, best on board the whiskey yet. You guys chat needs to do better. Uh, do I prefer M and M's or Smarties? <laughs> I like the um, the flavor M and M's. So like, I like the pe crunchy peanut M and M's. I like them. I'm gonna go through a super chat. I I feel like. Um, I needed to address this a while ago. So, yeah. So, Liquid Chris, super chatted five dollars. Can we get a live whiskey review? Well, I mean, if Beth brings me the whiskey, I can do that. Um, Winter Fuchs Mobile has subscribed. What a champion! This live stream of all things is what made you subscribe. Um, I feel like you're going to be in for a pleasant surprise because I think this. Uh, I hope this doesn't represent my normal quality of content. I like to think I'm slightly better when I'm not scripted but like I have the chance to erase what I've said and like clip down my videos a little bit uh Forks has super chatted five pounds five dollar oh CHF I don't know what currency that is uh, but do you play Hitman 3 mate um never actually played Hitman any of the Hitman games the problem is I don't get that m I don't play that many video games because a lot of my free time is spent um playing Kerbal Space Program and doing other things like not playing video games. Like I've been doing a lot of like a bit more sport because I realized my fitness is actually pretty poor. <laughs> so I would try to do a lot more exercise and stuff. So it started off pretty bad. Uh, a lot of the things actually people comment on my cycling video saying, how can you just go on like 80 kilometer bike rides and not get worn out? Like I can't go a mile. And like I was the same as you. I promise. I couldn't get to the end. When I bought my but like I, I obviously had bikes as a child and stuff, but I bought my first decent bike in 2021, and uh, yeah, I struggled to get to the end of the park that's opposite my house without just like my legs just like dying and I could walk. And this is like like less than a mile, 
And so what I did was I would just like, after work every day, I planned a little five kilometer route around the park near my house. And then once I could do that without having to stop, like I could, I could do that without only having to stop for breath like twice. Uh, then I then said, all right, let's build this up. Then I did it, made it into a 10 kilometer route around the park. And yeah, I did that for like a month or so. And and it just got easier and easier. And then I finally said, well, that's it. I'm going to try and cycle to work, which is only five, four, four miles away. Uh, I know I'm jumping between miles and kilometers. Um, it's about four miles away. And so it's not that far, but it is all uphill. So it's a bit of a challenge. And then I started doing that just on the weekends. I was like, that's it. I'm now going to try and do this for real going to work and then cycling to work after that that was just cheating really like i just got fit i got like good stamina just from having to do that every day like once you're actually forced to cycle because it's your commute it's um it's pretty easy and that's a story that probably no one asked for but that's uh that was the but in answer to your question forks i do not play hitman 3 uh can you play minecraft i have played minecraft before uh, just hearing about this, Chris Woodland. Just hearing about this mum mission. I have one question: Why? Why you lunatic? A, a is that a pun? Because lunatic comes from Luna, right? It was like moon crazy. Have I just made that up? I don't care. But you could have said lunatic. Missed opportunity right there. Uh, True Triss has super chatted one dollar and ninety nine. Thank you so much. And also, Galaxy Games has subscribed. Uh, I feel like I probably shouldn't shout out all the people that subscribed because while I'm eternally grateful, I don't know if people are going to start just spam unsubbing and then resubbing just so I say their name. I don't know if, like, YouTube is smart, though, and will, like, be able to tell when people do that. Although this live stream is going to be like, where are we now? Yeah, it was still 11 hours away. Uh, yeah, I don't think Beth's, Beth's seeing, looking at the chat is she. Should I just, like, shout her? Should I just shout the house down? Hey, Beth! Oi! Oi! Oi, Beth! Beth! She's fine, isn't She's deaf. Hey, Google. Broadcast on lounge speaker. Hey, Beth, can you bring the whiskey upstairs? This will work. I realise now that I've probably just triggered a bunch of people's Google Homes. If anyone has a Google Home in their house. <laughs> so lazy. I'm just like a... Yeah, it probably didn't sound that loud to you guys because, like, I have a, a condenser mic, dynamic microphone, sorry. So it would have been quiet because I turned my... When I turn my head away from the microphone, it gets, like, super quiet. Oh, my God, I can hear someone cooking up the stairs. It worked. Did I trigger anyone else's... Um, did I trigger anyone's uh, Google Home when I did that, by the way? Beth, are you not looking at... Beth's here. She's brought whiskey. No, why are you looking at the stream? This great live stream. I'm worried about using the Wi-Fi. Well, you're not. The Wi-Fi is not going to do anything. <laughs> I'm literally watching my own live stream on my phone. So I can, like, just check the audio balance every now and then with the headphones plugged into my phone. Oh, my God. This is so nice. Beth has opened the door to my office and all the heat of this, like, sauna <laughs> is just escaping. I'm feeling the cold rush over me. Or is that the sweet embrace of death? <laughs> One of the two. Can I have some more water? Can you fill my water bottle up? Thanks, Beth. All right, chat. What else? What shall we make Beth do next? <laughs> okay, so <laughs> rejoice. The whiskey is here. Thing is, though, Beth's only brought the bottle. She hasn't brought a glass. So I'm going to have to chug it out of the bottle. Beth, could you bring a glass upstairs with a whiskey? Thanks. Thanks. Mm. How much water do you need? Guys, you don't understand. Like, um, I don't retain water very well. I'm very hot and sweaty in this, like, boiling hot room in my house. My computer is running quite warm because it's streaming and running this game, which has got fairly, fairly demanding with all these graphics mods. There's a great little shop, by the way. Um, what are we going to do, actually? So we're going to set an alarm on my phone.
I'm just looking at my phone um, just to sort out my, uh, my my alarm and stuff. And uh, I've just had a few Discord notifications of people saying, what do you mean no time warp? Well, it is what exactly what you think it is. I'm doing this stupid idea of going to the Marne without using time warp. God knows what has possessed me to do this. Oh my god, you took your time, didn't you, Beth? She's finally back with the, uh, with the cup that I asked for like 45 seconds ago. Be gone now. Be gone. Be gone. <laughs> I really hope that no one is taking this with like a level of sincerity. By the way, this is just what we. This is just. This is just how we banter, guys. Don't worry. Um, nuke the mud. Do you use astronomer's visual pack? Yes, I do. So I have done a video on how to get these mods. I've already said this in this live stream before, so I ain't gonna spend too much time on it. But basically, just type it on YouTube, Matt Lown mod tutorial. I basically tell you exactly how to install all of the mods that you see here to make this game look really, really nice. So I've got uh, environmental visual enhancements. So what's kind of is the engine that's running these visuals, and then uh, the texture pack that I'm using with Eve is Astronomer's Visual Pack, which uh, is a great mod. This is what the visuals are, like the clouds and all that, but it only works if, like, Eve is like the engine, if you like, and then Astronomer's Visual Pack is like the graphics that goes on top, kind of. Uh, yeah, so there's that, and also Scatterer to get this atmospheric Scatterer, and there's a little bit of planet shine. I don't know how well that you can really see. Mm, uh, it's a bit hard to tell, but Planet Shine's doing two things. It's bumping up the ambient lighting of the spacecraft just to make it a bit easier for you guys to see. And it also creates a little bit of shine, so the blue light of Kerbin will have a little bit of a blue tinge on the spacecraft here. Uh, right, so... Oh, I can do my live whiskey view, can't I? I'm going to have to just create some space on the desk. I'm terrified of accidentally pressing something on the keyboard and ruining everything. After this, admittedly, you know, this has been a flawless live stream so far. I think we can all agree. So, I'm going to point the microphone at the whiskey. Don't know if you, uh... Then if you guys could hear that, my microphone's pop filter now stinks of whiskey because I splashed it on it by accident. Uh, unplug the keyboard. I guess I could, couldn't I? But it'd be nice to maybe just be able to like flick between like views every now and then. There's the little kerbals. And there we are. Click stage view button with mouse. Oh, that one. Yeah. Does that lock the staging? I'm really worried about testing that though. Like I could just press that. And I mean, I don't actually need to stage ever again now for the rest of the video because all the decoupler and stuff and the engines I can just do manually. So it's not an issue. So start burning 10 hours. So I'm going to I'm gonna set an alarm on my phone just to remind me. So where does 10 hours from now take us? What time is it now? It's 22.13. So, <laughs> my tired brain was like, so that means at 2.13. So, uh, let's see. Set the amount. Oh, goodness me. So, no, we don't want that time. This is really engaging content for you guys to watch now. So, I'll set my alarm for, let's say, 8. Uh, oh, come on. No, not 7. 8. Uh, no, actually, that's too late, isn't it? We need it to be 7.30. So 7.30 will be 9 hours and 17 minutes from now. Oh, actually, no, it's 10 hours, 58 minutes, isn't it? So really, maybe 8.30. That's 10 hours and 16 minutes. Great. So, yeah, 8.30. My alarm is set. Cool. Um, just like that. I'm going to leave my room just for a second, guys, just so I can turn on my bedside alarm. I'm, like, super paranoid about these sorts of things. So I have an alarm on my phone and an alarm, like, on my bedside clock. Um, it's just in case, I don't know, I just get, I just get kind of scared. So I'll be back in 30 seconds.
Okay, and we are back. So, now that I'm back and uh, the stream can rejoice. What the hell? I lost like 200 viewers during that time. Whatever, it doesn't matter. I think like I'm now expecting the views to dip a little bit. So, really guys, um, if you like are a sane person, just set a reminder for yourself to just come back to the stream in like 10 hours. Because really nothing's going to happen now. It's just a cruise to the mun. And again, just to reiterate for anyone... Oh, I've had some super chats. I will look at them in a second. Let's see. Uh, let's see. Ba -ba -ba. Yeah, so people were like spam unsubbing and subbing. So I'm not going to read subscribers anymore. <laughs> um, so we did True Tristy, didn't we? So Rafi Ewell has super chatted £1.79. What is a golfer's favourite book? The answer is Harry Potter. Brilliant. That was uh, that was uh, terrible. I don't, I don't, I'm just like struggling to kind of one up that. What is a golfer's favourite book? Maybe. Um, yeah, I'm too tired to go with a pun. Well done. That good job. What's an astronaut's favourite book? Uh, Harry Neptune. I just, I tried to wing it. I'm going to admit, I tried to wing it. Couldn't think of anything and I panicked. So, uh, yeah, we're going to move on from that. Kermit Faces super chatted. S-E-K, is that South Korean? I'm, I'm very ignorant. I'm very sorry. I forgot that word. Uh, 10. Thank you very much for that. There was no comment to that, so I'll move on. Uh, by the way, I'm like scrolling on my second screen, but it means I also scroll in Kerbal Space Program because, again, when I was testing this, whenever I minimized KSP, my computer would blue screen of death, which would be bad if that happened during the stream. So um, there's going to be a bit of scrolling as I'm scrolling my thing. So let's see. Are you actually planning to sit here for the entire 24 hours this mission takes? No. Basically, I plan on going to sleep tonight. Here is my real time. So that's why I started streaming so late because the idea was I could just actually go to sleep for the for the cruise to the mun and then when I wake up tomorrow morning it'll be all says I'll be fresh and alert we can do the mun landing and it'll be great I've actually only tested this like craft once I haven't actually really tested it because as soon as I tested it I was like I could change this this and this to make it better and then I didn't test it again I just assumed it would go well Probably not a great idea. I mean, I'm sure they didn't. No, whatever. Right, so that's the answer to that. No. Uh, actually, um, before I do any more super chats, I'm going to do a little uh, a little whiskey review. Actually, no. I've skipped past someone's super chats. I'm going to do that quickly first. Jacob um, Braunschweiger. Hope I got that right. Has super chatted $4.99. Watching the Atlas slash Starline mission. It seemed unnecessarily complex. So many separation slash throttle events. Interested in your thoughts on Starliner. Is it unnecessarily complex? I mean, I feel like the Atlas is a lot more simple than, say, Falcon 9, which, you know, literally lands itself and lands on a barge and then, like, has to travel by sea for four days to get back. I think that's probably a bit more complex, personally. And as Jeffrey Bezos has pointed out, SpaceX are, SpaceX's plans are immensely complex most of the time. Um, obviously Starliner is like interesting it's had so many issues go wrong and obviously oh my god you you I don't even it's like a I don't even know what, is that a South Korean font someone's right imagine forgetting the heat shield in the chat and for a second I panicked saying wait did I and they're just saying that as if like look what Matt's forgotten but no you did a little trolling I tip my hat to you you did a little bit of trolling but yes uh, no Atlas has been like tricky because it's had so many teething issues and even this last launch didn't go perfectly. Like, uh, one of the thrusters of the Starliner failed, and so the flight control system had to switch to another thruster that then also failed shortly afterwards, so then it had to change to a third thruster. Uh, luckily, there are a lot of redundancy systems built into Starliner. There are 12 thrusters in total. They have redundancies built in, so it was fine. But it is kind of like a shame that there's still things happening. I ain't no rocket scientist, obviously, so maybe this is par for the course. And they did have redundancy systems exist for a reason, but yeah, so far it's not been a perfect mission. Like, very few space missions probably are, but just staying for Starliner. That seems to be, uh, that seems to be the case. Okay, so we've gone through that. 
super chat. Let's see. Can't stay around for much. Oh, sorry. So sad square super chat at $20. That's very generous. Thank you. Can't stay around for much longer, but I wish you the best of luck on your journey. Make sure to save some whiskey for Jeb when he returns. I will indeed. Uh, all Chlua, Ch all Chlua has super chatted two pounds. Why would you start this at 10 p.m.? Lol. So, yep, you guys can see what time it is for me now. So it's 22.20. Because uh, I think you Americans call that military time. I don't know. In the rest of the world, we just call this the time. I don't think I own anything that isn't a 24-hour clock. I just... I don't understand why you'd not want 24-hour clock. It's just so much easier. I don't know. Anyway, um... And that's it. Those are the super chats, I think, I've been through. But yeah, I always think it's weird. Like, people say, like, oh, yeah, but it's, uh, 24 hours is easy because you just subtract 12 and then you know what the time is. I'm like, I don't even think of subtracting 12 when I'm looking at 24 o'clock. I just see 22 o'clock and I'm like, that's 22 o'clock. Like, I know what time that is. I'd maybe subconsciously I'd translate that to 10 p.m., but I don't have to do any mental maths. I just instinctively know. And I, the first time I developed this ability was maybe when I was, like, young, like, 10 or 11, and I had a Tamagotchi. I had two sisters, so I was kind of into some girly things as a child, and we were into Tamagotchis, and Tamagotchis were only 24 hours. So I had to quickly learn how to get intuitive with 24-hour clock systems with a Tamagotchi. Um, uh, so, uh, so, yeah, that's kind of how I just learned to intuitively interpret 24-hour clock. I mean... Now, like, everything in my life is 24 hours. All my watches and applications, phones, what have you, they're all 24-hour clock. I work in a clinic at work, and patients are checked in at in 24-hour times. So I guess, um, you know, uh, I guess I'm just used to 24 hours. Someone asked if I have any STEM qualifications. I do. I have a Bachelor's of Medical Science. So that's that. So, uh yeah, that's my that's my degree. I got that from the University of Sheffield. Graduated in 2015. Uh, yeah, I do a kind of a weird job these days. It doesn't really fit into any sort of job description. It's kind of like I've carved this little niche. You know, I don't I don't like talking too much about my real job because obviously, working with patients and all that in clinics, there is a layer of confidentiality, and so I don't really like talking too much about my actual real job. But my actual official job title on my, like, payslip is Advanced Orthoptic Practitioner. Take that for what you will. Um, why are people writing BOAT, by the way? I've seen this. People write BOAT, like, in all capitals. Is that, like, the new GOAT? Because GOAT was greatest of all time. Is BOAT just best, best of all time? Oh, my throat's drying up. I've still not done my whiskey review. My whiskey's just sitting here. It's just stinking the room up because it's right next to me. Um, let me just... Uh, so, guys, we've got a, a glass of Jack Daniels Old Number 7. It's uh, cheap whiskey. It's on discount right now if you're in the UK. In Tesco, if you've got a club card, it's pretty cheap to get a one litre bottle. So, there you go. Um... Not watered it down or anything. Just going to have a little sip. So, 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 so bottoms up. Oh, actually, before I do, Ruben W. What time do I need to set my alarm for in the morning so I don't miss the action? So, look at the nav ball. I've converted the game to not be in Kerbal time. It's in Earth time. So, the next big event will be in 10 hours and 48 minutes. That's when we start our, our Mun burn. Good saving me if I hit something. But our money encounter is in 9 hours, 24 minutes. That would actually probably be a better time for me to set my alarm, wouldn't it? When is that? So, uh, 9 hours, 23. When's my alarm set? 10 hours and 6. Hmm. So, set my alarm an hour. So yeah, so maybe 7.30 is a better time for me to set my alarm. Oh, that was annoying. Uh, right, anyway, yes, whiskey. Whiskey time. Today, that's when you set your alarm. Just have a look at that. It's uh, an hour, nine. It's about an hour and a half before this. So you want to set your alarm. So yeah, but curbing time is like a day is six hours. It would always say one day and so many hours because one day is six hours. But I've changed it to Earth time, so a day is now twenty four hours. So it will always be less than a day any time scale because this mission as a whole will take less than twenty four hours to do. Anyway, whiskey time. Here we go.
Oh, it's so warm. The room has really warmed it up. So, uh, not a fan. I mean, yeah. Jack Daniels Old Number 7 is not like a a particularly nice whiskey anyway. Like, it's a, it's a mixing whiskey, isn't it? I mean, Jack Daniels themselves will never admit to that, but it's, it's, it's what you mix with Coke. If you guys want a good uh, whiskey from Jack Daniels, I'd recommend Gentleman Jack or um, uh, uh, Single Barrel Select. It's already hit me, as you can tell. Boat is a reference to Martin Sito. He's the, I want to say, Australian guy who did those um, crazy Kerbal videos, isn't it? I should probably get him on The Stranded, shouldn't I? You guys enjoying The Stranded so far? Um, He'd probably be a good person to rescue, actually, wouldn't it? I'll have to set a reminder to myself to uh, try and get in touch with him. You see if he wants to get rescued from somewhere. Who else should be in The Stranded? I have a few. Uh, so the reason why The Stranded is not coming out week on week is because obviously I have to like schedule stuff with people. And like Americans, for example, there's like an eight hour time difference between me and them. So it's really difficult to work around each other's work schedules. So uh, yeah, it's it's difficult. So... Uh, Marcus and Tim were pretty easy. Um, I was about to—I was about to give spoilers about who the next two people are. I've—I've I've got the next two people sorted. One of the interviews is already done. Uh, one of them, we're still working out schedules, but that should be—that—that's that, going through. And I think you're gonna—I mean, we're kind of working through the obvious ones first, aren't we? Like, I think everyone knew that Marcus House and Everyday Astronaut were going to be part of it because they've been on—they featured with this channel many times. But the next one, the Juna Strandy. I think it's going to be a pleasant surprise. Um, yes. Um, trying to give like cryptic clues uh, as to who this person is. But is it's not a YouTuber. He's not a YouTuber. Uh, but he is nonetheless pretty prominent in the world of KSP. I feel like that's pretty much given it away. But at this point, who's even watching this? 1,291 people. That's nobody at all, really. Um, so, what are we... We've got 10 hours and 44 minutes to go. I mean, I'm basically just sort of hanging on. Once I've sort of run out of things to talk about, I'm just going to go to sleep. So, um, I'm just going to keep this chat going. Let's just let's just get really drunk on Jack Daniels, shall we? <laughs> Big lol if it's Elon Musk. i tell you what, guys. I did... Uh, I don't know if he'd even appreciate me bringing this up. I did reach out to see if Tom Scott wanted to be at the Stranded, and he did say it wasn't really his sort of thing. But I did, I did think that would be quite funny if I could get Tom Scott. But I appreciate that it's not really something that he would associate himself with. So uh, I, t I entirely respect his polite decline of my offer. But that was one little thing i tried <laughs> um oh yeah people are asking about the skybox uh this skybox is from astronomer's visual pack if you want to know what mods i'm running you can type search up the matt Lown mod tutorial video i think i've only done like one mod tutorial video ever so it's pretty easy to find i just show you how to install all of the mods you can currently see running make a game look really nice and all that good shebang we've had a couple of super chats so uh jurgen wagenveld is that jurgen I can't remember how the J is pronounced in what I presume is Germany or Hungary, like that sort of area of Europe. But yes, five euros. Thank you. What a mission. And early congrats for you for achieving everything so far. Thank you. I mean, I, I'm still like very stressed that I'm going to crash <laughs> on the mud and it's all going to be, it's going to be, uh, it's going to end terribly. Um, and then just try and as pledged, uh, well, donated, I should say, uh, $1 to the course. Thank you so much. What about having Toy Bruno in The Stranded? That would be pretty epic. I have, like, exchanged words with him on Twitter before, as have many people I know. Uh, saying, like, he was talking about how he's got, like, people stranded on places in Kerbal. And I'm like, hey, I can rescue your Kerbals if you want. How, where are they? And he just said, oh, there are too many to count. And I'm like, oh. He probably doesn't know that I've got, got a YouTube channel. Oh yes, um, EGSA. I, f I yeah. I, I mean, it's not EGSA. Um, I, I keep meaning to reach out to him. The thing is, I don't really follow Twitch. I don't really Twitch at all. I ain't a. I'm not a. I'm not a Twitcher. Is that the? Uh, is that the words you guys say? Not <laughs> Uh I don't really use Twitch ever, so I'm not really that familiar with. I know who EGSA is, and I've like 
chill. I've like joined this live streams just to comment every now and then, but I don't watch live streams very much. So I'm not really as, as in tune with that side of the internet. As you can tell from this amazing live stream, uh, which uh, which I'm just waffling whilst nothing is happening. Although it's kind of cool to like, occasionally I'm just, I'm just basically just staring at my wall, just dictating and then looking at the chat on my second monitor. But every now and then I am flicking my eyes back to the screen on the right and it's it's pretty cool to just see myself getting obviously getting further and further away from Kerbin. We're moving at a fair old pace, aren't we? Yeah. Anyway, yeah. Um. <laughs> there, so he'd be good, wouldn't he? Yeah, should probably get him on. Probably get uh probably wanna get Shadow Zone on, right? He's pretty prominent. Uh oh, here we go. Surrealios. <laughs> uh, Bro, you gotta wait 10 hours. What you gotta do? Yeah, I know. Didn't actually finish my glass of whiskey. Let's just have that. Ooh. Oh, it's so warm. I'm just having a sip of cold water just to. Whiskey is best served, like, not like with a frozen. But just like slightly below room temperature. And my room right now is not room temperature. Though you guys have seen my face cam videos. I haven't done many face cam videos to be fair. But this room is like tiny. Uh, British British houses. In, I'm assuming. I'm going out on a limb and assuming most of you are in America. Um, and in general British houses are a bit smaller than American houses. Um, especially where I live. Like I wanted to live in kind of a more dense city neighbourhood. So all the houses are quite close together. Quite small but really good walkability so it's a good compromise but it means the rooms are quite small so this room i want to say is about uh width wise about maybe two meters two and a half meters and length wise maybe four meters like four meters by two meters i don't know what that is in feet you guys can just google it so it's pretty small and the walls are lined with sound insulating foam and it, that's not in the walls like the walls are literally covered in foam and then I've got these two gigantic 27-inch IPS 1440p 144 hertz monitors that spit out. They're basically just like giant heating panels. And I've got my PC on the desk, which is a you know running Kerbal and streaming, and it's got a pretty beefy graphics card. It's a 2080 Ti, which runs hot. So the, 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 it's a recipe for just roasting alive effectively. So I, I'm really flagging here, to be honest, in terms of the temperature. 10 hours of drinking. Yeah. Should I just drink constantly and then we get to the mud? I'm just like completely catatonic. And then I just somehow still manage to do it. Wouldn't that be fun? I feel like we wouldn't really learn anything there. I try not to... Uh, do like too much like I, I know it's like make the odd joke about all the whole drunken scientist alter ego but i don't like doing it too often because i don't want to make light of alcohol use because alcohol is not not a fun funny thing like it is ultimately a poison that ruins lives so i like doing the occasional joke about whole oh, haha drunken rocket scientist but i don't like bringing it up too much because i don't want to make light of you know, a very serious thing. And that's kind of one of the reasons why I've kind of drifted away from doing whiskey reviews, because again, I was kind of making light of something that I think needs a bit more respect in society, especially in Britain, where we have a very unhealthy relationship with alcohol in this country. And uh, that's my uh, that's my really serious little monologue there. I'm drinking Jack tonight too. Cheers, Matt. Oh, I've got to pour in a little bit. Just so I can do a little virtual cheers. Who who um said that? Farina Franqui, hold that glass for a second. I will join you. Anyone else drinking whiskey tonight? You can join us too. I've topped up two centiliters into my Jack Daniel's glass. All right. So, uh, Farina Franqui, I'm raising my glass and uh, cheers. There we are. I feel like it's kind of like the moment's kind of ruined because there's like a 20 or 30 second delay from when I speak to when you guys hear me. So, uh, 
it's not quite simultaneous, but that's kind of cool, isn't it? The little virtual chair. Don't know if you know. Um, that's it. Why is John Master? You do realize, like, I've had literally two sips of whiskey. I'm just so super drunk, guys. Um. Oh. I forgot about this bottle of water. I've got like so many bottles of water and this one has ice in it and I just remembered I had this one. Oh, I just need it to cool down. Mm. Oh, that's good. That's some good stuff right there. <laughs> hey Matt, had you heard the orbital flight for Starship? No, What? It, what is Starship? <laughs> Nice to see you streaming, Matt. Thank you, Aquok David Taylor. I'm sorry that obviously this isn't really the action packed live streams that a lot of KSP guys will be doing. This is just a very. Look at that. Look at that ticker going down there. I'm going to go on an EVA. Let's do it. I'm going to just sit close to the desk, try not to hit anything. Uh, buh, buh, buh. Yeah, I'm going to quick save just in case like if i mess something up now i'm gonna just allow myself to quick load that quick save right oh it felt painful pressing the space bar because i've been trying to avoid pressing it for so long there we are <laughs> jebediah floating peacefully in the uh van allen belts has to remove his helmet yeah um eva report look at that beautiful And he's back on board. Quick save is for the week. This is how men play Kerbal Space Program, is it? Oh, goodness me. Should do a life on the man in real time. Don't even know what that means. So, uh, let's see. Are there any more super chats? No. Come on, guy. No, I'm joking. Don't. I don't, I don't like coerce people into donating especially for in service of this which is just a basically for all intents and purposes is a static image hey what do you guys think of my like stream ui by the way i was quite proud of that when it came out that like it sort of has that fade out to show the uh the altitude gauge which is sort of backfired in the sense that it covers up kerbal engineer is it what i could do i'm going to quick save in case i accidentally crash the game by doing this but let's have a quick go at doing this how do we do this? Oh, not that one. Hey, we can stick him down here. This is now going to really throw me off. Uh, had to. Beautiful. And now, you can see them all. If anything, I can actually probably line it up with the, uh, with the chat, right? Uh, uh, I'm just looking at my stream screen now. Oh, that is... That is perfect. Look at that. It's, I don't know, actually. That's quite... When I'm, like, doing stuff, I need to be able to see these things. And that's quite... I reckon that. We'll put that there. Put that, maybe. Oh, that looks about level there, isn't it? Oh, that's very nice. Very nice indeed. What do you guys think? Better, worse, about the same? So Dobby Dew, Dobby Dew, sorry, how long will this be? So my, I did, I just looked at like one of my Apollo style MUN missions that I've done in the past and worked out the timings based on that. So my current schedule is based on BST, which is British Summertime, which is UTC, Universal uh, Time Central. What does UTC stand for? Universal Coordinated Time, everyone knows it. Um, so BST is plus one. So for me, I started this mission at 21.20. Uh, the time is now 22.39. So by my timers, so you can go off this clock time here, we should be arriving at the MUN. Well, we should be achieving our initial MUN parking orbit at 9 a.m. tomorrow morning. So as you can see, it's 20 to 11 for me now. Uh, we should then uh, reach our final circularized MUN orbit about five minutes later. The lander should then reach the surface of the MUN 
about 25 minutes later, my plan is to basically do a deorbit burn and drop my periapsis down to zero, but no less, and then just coast down for about 15 minutes. I've noticed that on all my descents where I time warp down and then like before my landing burn, it's usually about 15 minutes into the descent that I start that. So that's, I feel like that's a safe place to begin that you know initial parking like landing burn i suppose so that'll be about 9 25 in the morning that will be finished we'll then have to wait an entire orbit uh, we'll, we'll have to wait for the command module so this bit here to complete a, a full orbit around the moon before we can launch off the surface again to get a good rendezvous so i'm estimating that we'll be leave getting back to the mothership by about quarter past 10 in the morning and then I would anticipate that uh, we'll um, so so sorry we'll um, we'll launch off the surface of the Mun about quarter past ten in the morning, and then we'll dock with the command module about ten thirty, and then we'll begin our Mun to Kerbin uh, you know, burn about maybe forty five minutes later. Uh, I've kind of factored in just an entire ish Mun orbit to, for that timing, so that could vary a little bit. And then our Kerbin reentry will be about eight hours later. It'll be about eight hour coast back to Kerbin. So that's my current timeline. Uh, yes, Epifloid UTC is the same as GMT as far as I'm aware. There's probably like some very nuanced difference as to why it's not and now people who know the difference are going to come out in like obnoxious strides or whatever the term is. But, um, yeah, for all intents and purposes, UTC is the same as uh, GMT. As you can see, guys, it's getting late for me. It's 20 to 11. It's way past my bedtime. You should sleep in a large steel tube to simulate the mission. Oh my gosh, I've just realized I've left the Kerbal Engineer thing open, which is not the end of the world. It means that the chat was probably a little bit hard to read. There we go. Python Protogen, I am loving this. You have, you have terrible taste in entertainment would be my rebuttal to that, but I do appreciate you nonetheless. <sighs> well. The chat is too far to the right. I concede that you are correct. I made this, well, I made this whole UI thing back in 2019, like summer 2019. Which actually was three years ago, would you believe it? That's crazy. And I did it on a stock install of KSP. And on stock KSP, this little bar here, just above the yellow wrench or spanner, uh, none of these buttons are here. So I kind of perfectly placed the chat so they wouldn't be over the buttons, but then I've installed all these mods and now it overlaps. Although actually, looking at Streamlabs UI now, it does look like actually the chat is infiltrating these buttons as well. So forget everything I said. I'm just a bit of an idiot. I don't know what I was doing. I can put it in map screen mode. That doesn't do anything though. But I can do this. Boom. Boom. Enjoy that while it lasts. I mean, it, it is better with the UI visible, right? So you actually see what's happening. But that's, uh, yeah. Oh, I've had some, uh, I've had some super chats. Let's have a look. Let's see. So I want to make sure I didn't miss any. Nope. Okay, so fine. So we got, uh, let's see. We did Jürgen Wagenveld. Cerelios has subchat. Yep, yep, we did that one, yep. Uh, Cerelios has super chatted again! Nice, thank you so much. Have you or would you take submissions of vehicles from your subscribers? If so, where could we send them? Rye or bourbon whiskey? Well, I've got many answers for both of these questions. So firstly, um, craft showcases have never really been my thing. I've done a few, but I never really know how to do it very well I think it's kind of a good thing for other channels to do because I'm not great at craft showcase myself I just think that like my format of video I like just having a for want of a better phrase contained story in my Kerbal Space Program video so there is a beginning designing the mission designing the craft and all that a middle doing the mission and all that and an end the mission's done and that's like all kind of planned by me when I'm showcasing a craft I don't know how to sort of put that into a dialogue. Like, here's a plane, let's fly it around. And that's it. Bye, everyone. So it's, uh, yeah, that's uh, that, that's my thoughts on craft, craft showcases. 
Um, before I get to the next part of your super chat question, Cerelios, I'm going to quickly uh, reply to you, fat nerd. Oh, that was a bit of a personal offence there. Uh, they've written, how do you auto strut? The mod was broken for me, and everything falls apart. So auto strut is not a mod, so I'm not quite sure what you're referring to there. But to have auto strutting and loads of other super useful things that should be enabled from the start, I don't know why, such as fuel tank prioritization. Uh, you go into the game settings. I don't know if you can do it from like the uh, in like this this menu here, but uh, whoop. There we go. I have this menu here. Or I think you have to go to the um, the main menu settings to do it. Basically, you're on the general game settings. And there is a tick box that's off by default. And it's called Advanced Tweakables. You tick that. And that enables stuff like Auto Strut. And again, in my... Uh, I've mentioned this video a couple of times now. But uh, in my video, where I go through all the mods and how to install them. Before I talk about any of the mods, I show you how to set up KSP to be the best it can be. So which graphic settings to use, which gameplay enhancements to use, so advanced tweakables, uh, show burn time, uh, the advanced burn time. I can't remember what it is, but basically it tells you kind of, like here it says, for me, on the nav ball, here is when your node is, here is the burn time, and then it says when you should start your burn to get the most accurate, like, efficient burn. Um, but I don't think that's on by, I don't know if they changed it, but that was never on by default. But you can have this, this isn't a mod. It, you can enable it through channel settings. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, so go to your question. So, bourbon or... Well, rye or bourbon whiskey. So, I must... I'm going to come clean to you guys. I'm not, like, a huge connoisseur in whiskey. I don't really know how it's made that well. But my understanding is that a lot of the bourbons come as both standard and rye. So, for example, you can get Bullet Bourbon, or you can get Bullet Bourbon Rye, or Bourbon, as you men pronounce it, apparently. So, what's normal whiskey? Is it barley? I think it's barley, isn't it? But you can get it made with rye seed instead. So, the rye whiskies, they always tend to be a bit more expensive. And I've literally used to, I, I often did, like, whiskey tasting nights with my friends before, you know, COVID ruined everything. And I'd often buy, like, a bottle of the rye and a bottle of the normal. So, we get Bullet Bourbon rye and just normal bully bourbon and we try them like do a blind taste test and everyone i know and myself always preferred the non-rye version <clears throat> so i don't know I, i'm not a huge fan of the rye whiskies uh yeah and it, it's kind of funny like i was um i had a couple of exchanges with scott manley on twitter i'm sure if 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 hypothetically perhaps maybe i um, don't know if Scott Manley were ever in The Stranded, we might have a colourful exchange on whiskey tastes. Because I've written, I've made posts about whiskey on Twitter. Like, I've posted pictures of me drinking whiskey. And he's replying saying, that's not whiskey, that's bourbon. And I'm like, oh, this is a bit of a subject to debate. So it's kind of ironic, in a sense, that obviously Scott Manley lives in the United States. And clearly has a preference for whiskies made in the British Isles. I live in the British Isles, but have a propensity for whiskies brewed, I say brewed, distilled in the United States. I'm using British Isles as a very generalised term. It's Scotland. I've had people ask me, what's the best English whiskey? I'm like, all English whiskies are terrible. Scottish or Irish? <coughs> For um, UK whiskies. Oh, my throat's getting a bit dry. So yes, let's continue going down the super chat uh, uh, thing. N9 Gaming. I'm sure I've heard N9 Gaming's name before. Is N9 Gaming like a, um, a channel? It's really disrespectful if he is, or if, if she is, or if they are. Um, I'm sure N9 Gaming. Yeah, they've got like 12,000 subscribers. Yeah, I've heard of you online gaming. Cool. Anyway, great. Um, best of luck on the landing later on. I've only got 150 characters, but any interest in joining the Kerbal Space podcast as a guest later on? Oh, I obviously don't know you that well because I didn't know there was a podcast. Let's have a little look. Yeah, we, I've got time. Well, we've got 10 hours, 22 minutes before I need to do anything. So let's see. Well, it's only a month old. It's fairly new, isn't it? 
The issue with me is that I have work quite long hours. Like I am at work effectively for 11 hours a day when you factor in the commute times and lunch hours, things like that. And then I have very limited time about like very limited time um, left in the day to do anything else really. Like I've really got to do like, I've got to you know, factor in my nightly cry in the shower. I've got to factor in my cooking chores, things like that. Like, and then I have very limited time. And there's the issue that I'm in the UK and I'm assuming that you are not and you're in America because that's just, I just assume on the, everyone on the internet is America unless otherwise there's, a, there's evidence suggesting otherwise. So it might be a little bit tricky to make that work. But just um, say something on Discord. Um, have we ever talked before? Um, N9 Gaming. Um... Uh, I'll uh, send send you an e. Uh, I will I will I will contact you. Follow me on Twitter, and I'll DM you on Twitter. Oh, I'm gonna follow N9 Gaming on Twitter. Here we go. Uh, this is really great content, by the way, isn't it, guys? <laughs> N9 Gaming. I'm gonna follow you. So then, if you follow me. Then you can DM me and we can just talk about stuff. Cool. Okay. Um, best luck on the yeah yeah we're great cool yeah great okay. Uh, thanks for the super chat as well. Great. Thank you. Okay. Billy Madison has super chatted five dollars. I'll give you more if you time warp. I got places to be. Afraid. Uh, afraid that ain't gonna happen. I'm afraid. I mean, you're gonna have to just cancel those appointments. You know. I mean. I can't imagine there'll be like anywhere more important that you could possibly be than watching this live stream, quite honestly. So I think you're being I think you're being pretty selfish there, Billy Madison, actually. So yeah, you can just jog on, mate. This is where I find out that he's like a surgeon <laughs> at a children's hospital. <laughs> but thank you for the super chat, all jokes aside. Uh Christian Sampson has super chatted five dollars. If you're bored during this, I'd recommend grabbing some cardstock and going to AXM Paper Models. Figured it could help pass the time. I plan on passing the time by sleeping. Is my plan. What time is it now? My system time, as you can see down here. Te uh, eight minutes, from effectively nine minutes to 11 o'clock. So it's getting on a bit. Probably going to get a bit of sleep soon. Uh, Forks is super chat. Forks is super chat again. I'm sure you... um. Uh, oh yes, in answer to your question, CHF is a Swiss currency. Good to know. I'll, I probably won't remember that, but thank you for um, information nonetheless, and of course for the uh, the kind kind donation. I think I've missed any other missed anything? Cool. Great. Oh, anonymous rets. I don't know how I've managed to. It coincidentally catch you each time you've asked this question. Do you feel like Neil Armstrong yet? No. Um, no, basically. Don't know what else to say. Make another quick save. I just like making quick saves intermittently because I'm still, although I think it's pretty well established by computers, hopefully, touch wood, not get a quick uh, blue screen of death again. I'm still kind of paranoidedly, if that's not a word, making quick saves uh, as I go along. Graham Sol, I'll be back in ten hour. Great, that's a that's a sensible thing to do. To be fair, there's still a thousand and seventeen people watching. You're insane. You're all insane. Okay, so um, we've had a couple of super chats. Let's see. Oh, no, we had one actually. Commander Schmier, cheese. That is all. I got a lot to say about cheese. So cheese to me. I mean, cheese. I eat cheese in two capacities. I eat cheese with pizza and I eat cheese with pasta. Actually, there is a third way in which I eat cheese. I eat cheese melted on nachos. And in all three scenarios, don't at me, the best one is mozzarella. Why do any other cheeses exist? Alright? I guess Wensleydale is good because that is a uh, a, uh, a comic uh mode it's in Wallace and Gromit is what I'm trying to say it's a conveyor of comedic script writing in um, in Wallace and Gromit S script writing would have been a good thing for this live stream right 
tell Beth you love and appreciate her. Nah, I'll um, I'll just carry on shouting at her to bring me more whiskey. Um, oh, that was a super chat I just saw. I was just like so zoned out. Uh, I d can I say that name without getting demonetized? Lady, and I'm gonna say a bunch of things in in between that just to kind of space it out. Boners. Uh, which is actually a dirty word on its own, so oops, screwed myself over there a little bit, didn't I? Uh, US dollars, two two dollars. Thank you for your kind donation. And just then, I've had another super chat. Uh, Trip Ort, H R K. Oh, I'm not sure. Kind of Hong Kong? No, that that would be H K, wouldn't it? I'm a bit ignorant. I'm not sure what H R K is, but twenty five. So thank you. Love your content, Matt. You're crazy for doing this. Try doing a Moho mission. Oh, sorry, trying to do a Moho mission right now. Getting the encounter is a nightmare. Yeah, so Moho's tricky. I mean, you get all these guides saying getting like a um, a transfer window and all that. Like, honestly, Moho's sphere of influence is like so small and insignificant that transfer windows don't matter at all. Just get yourself, get your orbital line to intersect Moho's at some point. So you set Moho as your target, get your orbital line to intersect Moho's orbital line in some capacity so that you get the two grey separation indicators and then just create a maneuver node at that intersect point. Uh, just drag on retrograde until those grey indicators just swing together and you get an encounter. The O-Birth effect is negligible for Moho. Like, honestly, don't overcomplicate things with trying to get um, transfer windows and all that. You're only going to save a negligible amount of fuel. It's easier just to not bother with um, uh uh, transfer windows you can tell i'm flagging guys right i think it's the heat the uh the little bit of whiskey and uh the the tiredness are starting to hit me so um i'm gonna wind the stream down um, the stream's not gonna end of course that's the whole point but uh, i'm just gonna wind down the intensity i'm just gonna talk like this the rest of the time that would be terrible wouldn't it Oh, someone asked, um, Anonymous Rets again. Why is it I'm just like tied? It's like we're connected, isn't it? Do you play SFS? It's like a mobile KSP. I know, it's a space flight simulator. I have the uh, full version of that game, actually. I think I was given it to it by the developer. I don't know, I was really put off by the subreddit. It had some pretty power trippy mods. Um, like, someone recreated my Yeet space station. I made a video years ago, which is weird to say because it still feels like yesterday. But I made a space station that had the word Yeet spelled out with struts on the top and someone recreated it in space flight simulator and posted it to the subreddit saying they recreated matt lounge space station and the some mod removed it because it's a meme apparently and i'm like i replied to him saying like hey i thought it was quite funny and like this clearly took a lot of effort so i'm not really sure if that's a justified removal and he was like sorry i'm a mod my decision is final and i'll ban you if you and i'm like oh all well, right well, i'm mean sorry <laughs> I don't think he knew who I was. Like, that sounds super arrogant. But, like, the creator of the game literally gave me a free copy of it. So, obviously, there is, like... I, I like to think I have some credentials with space-based video games. Don't know. Oh, my gosh. Uh, Aquok David Taylor has given me a very generous donation of 100 US dollars. Which is 100 more than you should have given me, really. But thank you so much. That's incredibly generous of you. Watched you for years. Keep it up. Uh, yeah. Well, I will try. I will try my level best, and hopefully, you know, KSP two will inject some life into uh, the KSP side of this channel. I admit that, like, I will freely admit that some of my KSP uploads are like start. Like, that's why I've just basically toned down the upload pace of KSP. Like, for the longest time, I was uploading, you know, once a week, but it got to the point where I was like, realistically, how many things can I possibly do in the stock? version of ksp like i'm starting to be a bit burned out and there's only so many times i can do like this mission or that mission like let's just wind it down and try and make videos that are a bit more better and this is one of the things i'm trying like maybe just a more long form video like a live stream that sort of thing but doing a live stream that sort of translates well as a standalone video like this i'm not expecting this live stream to be like a success or like a really fun thing to watch from start to finish bear with me i'm going somewhere with this and I'm not really expecting it to be a good video to watch either for the fact because it's so long. But I think it's just a cool little thing to have in the Matt Lown video archive. Like, wow, there's a 20 hour long video here 
of Matt going to the Mun in real time. Like, that's why <laughs> it's probably like i keep asking myself that question uh ever since i started this live stream really but yeah that will be a fun little thing just having the little old back catalog and i just want like a little notch in my belt as something i've done i see we've had a, a space oh this the space channel i hope you know by the way that i am the space channel uh has just become a member and are now spamming emojis. Please, uh, please don't spam emojis. I appreciate your kind donation to the channel, but uh, let's just chill. Let's just chill with the emojis, eh? Um, as, 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 uh, yeah, join, become a, thank you so much, guys. Uh, if you guys do become a, mem a member, by the way, you get space this week a day early, and you sometimes get KSP videos early as well. Although a lot of the time, sometimes videos are kind of edited all the way up to the, uh, up to the up to the moment of publication so it's not always possible to get videos a little bit early and sponsored videos uh you know they sometimes they're legally with the contracts i can't publish it before the agreed date so you can't get those early so you know it's a bit of a mix and match but uh generally speaking you'll get videos early and one of the things i'm planning on doing actually is uh releasing a uh, abridged version of this video that you're watching right now so i guess stream if you guys are watching it right now um oh someone's written right of navball why are you writing that i'm assuming someone is um oh yes i see you're telling people how to look at the the real time for me so yes it's just turned 11 o'clock in fact it's just turned wait for it 1102 or 2302 and, um, yeah, that's how you know what time it is for me. So I'm not going to be... Uh, I'm going to be asleep at some point for the rest of this transfer to the man. But I'm going to just stick around because it's nice interacting with the old subscribers. Um, the Space Channel, like, I don't want to, like... I don't want to, like, put you on timeout. But please do stop spamming the emojis. It's kind of ruining the flow of the chat, you know. Um, cool. Let's see. Do you plan, a Space Bear has asked, do you plan on doing a Moho mission in the future? I've done a lot of Moho missions. I mean, obviously, the whole thing with the um, with the Stranded is that I go and visit every single planet and moon in the game, except for Jewel, for you pedants out there, and the sun. <laughs> but uh, I visit every single planet and moon, rescuing a Kerbal who turns out to be a cameo of an interesting person. So I will be going to Moho at some point for that series. And I've done Moho missions in the past, so... Um, yeah. I will be going to Moho at some point before uh, one of us dies, put it that way. Um, so the Angry Kitten has written, Hey Matt, I don't know if you can... If, oh, sorry, I don't know if you can, because I don't know what streaming software you use. But can you add some timer to the screen showing us when you reach the man? So, you, that doesn't matter. Look, that's why I've made the maneuver node so long in advance. Because look, it shows you when the burn starts. <coughs> Excuse me. I had to cough. So my burn at Mun Periopsis is going to be in 10 hours and 9 minutes. Which means I'm going to be encountering the Mun around that sort of time. Let's see. I'll be encountering the Mun in 8 hours and 44 minutes. But I mean, once that happens, it's going to just be like this. But instead of having Kerbin in the background, it's the Mun. The next time something, in air quotes here, exciting happens, it'll be when I'm performing that circularization burn. So you can use this down at the bottom as your timer there we go and if you go on my twitter there's like a timeline for the british summertime time zone so you can just translate that to your own british summertime is utc plus um, oh what is it yes yeah, utc plus one so uh you can use that there's my system time there down there cool and i have i haven't forgotten you uh chris underscore nine double oh one who super chatted five pounds very generous who simply replied with um chicken and then wrote the little chicken emoji and for five pounds you could have bought a nice kfc chicken bucket so uh, i appreciate that instead you bought a virtual chicken and sent it to me uh i like soup i uh, at matt Lown. Matt, how do you design unique SSTOs every time? All of mine look the same most of the time. Yeah, I feel the same about mine. I try and mix it up every now and then, but I feel like I have a bit of a rhythm. And like, I've like, I, I 
I actually watch other US KSP YouTubers, and they was right. Oh, your SSTO looks like a Matt Lauen SSTO. So I think everyone just sort of has their own style, and then you sort of end up stuck, sort of um, building SSTOs that are in that style, basically. But there's nothing wrong with that. What works works, and uh, if anything, it's part of the fun, like sticking to the same style, but like gradually refining it over the years. Like I feel like my SSTO designs haven't changed at all. But then I look at a video from me from like 2017 and it's actually fairly dramatically different like i've obviously made mild optimizations over the years without really subconsciously realizing it or consciously realizing it i should say so um so yeah there's nothing wrong with making ssto's that kind of look the same i mean ssto's are difficult that's why i quite like doing them they are a good challenge so yeah nothing wrong with making a if it works it works that's all i have to say uh why I went? Oh, sorry. When are you going to do a science mode save game entirely in real time? I ain't doing that. <laughs> um, which actually probably wouldn't be that hard. <laughs> I'm putting myself into a corner here because you can just waddle around the KSC to get loads of science, and then all you have to do is get onto it. No, because that method requires time warp. Forget it. Yeah, I ain't doing that. <laughs> okay. Uh, could you ever do a playthrough of the game Subnautica? Uh, probably not. I just haven't got time. Like, I just haven't got enough time in the day to play other games, unfortunately. Uh, can you play the Art Planets mod? I I always keep thinking about doing mods. I just... I need, like, a good gap in, like, life where there's just... I've not got much going on. Life is a bit more chill. And I can sit back and think about stuff. But right now... Uh, now is not the time. Like, I'm, I'm focused on The Stranded. I want to get that done. I've got a few other things. Like, I want to revisit Space Race Speedrun. But I can't right now because I just hate... You know, obviously the the situation in Ukraine. I don't want to bring up like Russians and all that. It's like that's why that big reason why I don't want to carry on that series right now. Um, but I've got a lot of things on the go. I want to kind of clear my video schedule for a bit before looking at kind of new stuff. Really. Uh, what are your Formula One predictions for this weekend? I don't follow Formula One. I've just never been interested in Formula One. I've been in relationships with people who like really like Formula One as well, and I could just never get into. It. I just sat there. And she was like super into the race and all. I'm like, I don't. I just played them on DS. But <laughs> we watched Formula One together. I, I, I'm just not into motorsport, really. I'm very sorry. Um, let's see. Um, uh, bro, if you don't have time, why are you doing this? Pilky7, yeah, that's a good question. I mean, a big reason I'm doing this is because my plan is that I don't have to actually do a lot. Like, it actually only involves about an hour's worth of work for me. Like, this whole live stream is actually less work for me than making one single KSP video because I'll be asleep for a good chunk of the actual mission duration. And then, um, during the, uh, the other big long bits like this where there's nothing happening, I'll just go out and do something during the day and then come back. So, uh, it's not like I really need to, like, I'm, I've been on this stream way longer than I thought I would be. I thought I've gone to bed ages ago. But I, I'm very, very desperate for a wee, guys. So I'm just going to go and quickly do that. I'll be back in like a minute or so.
Oh, and I am back. So, um, I was going a bit longer than I hoped to because basically, guys, I realized just how hot this room had got and I need chat's help now. Um, the room is so hot that I've brought in my, um, I've just topped up my condenser fan. So basically in the UK, because we very rarely get hot, hot weather, none of us have air conditioning in any of our houses because it makes no financial sense to do so because it's only hot for like a few weeks of the year. Unless you're me and are live streaming in like a boiling hot room. Um, so what's quite popular in the UK are these things called condenser fans. It's basically like a, a normal fan, I suppose. But it's got a reservoir of water in the bottom and it just sort of sprays mist as it blows into you. And um, I've just turned that on now because it's unbearably hot in this room. And it's just, I'm, I'm in heaven right now. It's cooling me down. Um, uh, but I want to know, is it? can you guys hear the hum of the fan? It's right behind the microphone, so I'm not quite sure if the microphone will be isolating it or not. It is a really good microphone, this microphone, for like isolating noises like that. But I just I would like the reassurance of chat that you definitely can't hear it. And uh, whilst you guys write some response, I have some more water. Jelmo Prince can't hear it. Great. Perfect. Yeah, the window opening, it, it doesn't make a huge amount of difference, to be honest. And then I get loads of mosquitoes in. Matt, what will you do for 500k? <sighs> so I'm assuming you mean what am I going to do to celebrate 500,000 subscribers? Not what I, not what would, what acts of depravity I would do to get to 500 pounds, 500,000 pounds. Um, I don't know. I never really thought about doing it. Like I've done joke subscriber milestone videos before like i did my only real sincere subscriber milestone video is my 20,000 subscriber milestone one i did one for 150,000 subscribers where i did like a joke thing about i'm gonna do a super cringe i'm gonna react to my first video and it's gonna be super cringe it's gonna be great and i just sat there in silence in a suit just watching it and i was like oh that's pretty good and that was that was the joke spoiler alert if anyone's not watched that video I don't know, I, I haven't really put much thought into the 500,000 subscriber special because I don't know what I'd do. Um, is that still, like, Draw My Life was a big thing, like, many years ago. Is that still a thing now? I, I don't know. Um, what should I do? The moisture will kill your PC. It won't. It's, like, a very, very fine mess. Like, I was, I was, oh, I should probably mention who wrote this comment. Uh, nerd, nerd astronaut wrote that comment. Uh, yeah, I was really worried about that too, but honestly, like, when I started using it, I was like, oh, actually, it's fine. Like, the mist is so fine. Like, you don't get wet at all. Like, you don't get any moisture forming on you. It's such a fine mist. It's like, the re the water reservoir will last, like, eight hours. So it's fine. Okay. Um, D-Pod Dolphin Studios. Matt, I'm Ryan from the Space Show TM. I'm based in the UK. If you want to save me from the corner of the curb or something, sorry. D Pod Dolphin Production. Are you like. Um, I'm sure I recognize your icon. Are you like. Have we worked together in space this week? Are you like an animator? I've got to like check that name now. I've got to check that name. D Pod Yeah, you are a, you are a guy. Oh, I think about. Do you have a, not really Twitter, LinkedIn, you have YouTube. I feel like I um, recognise your name. Um, yes, we've yeah Ryan Caton on Twitter. Yeah, we've chatted before, I know. I know you, I knew I recognized that name from somewhere. Uh, yes. The Space Show TMRO? Which one's that? Am I being thick? I must know. Hmm. Anyway, yeah, anyway. Wait, personally, I'm based in the UK. If you want to save me from some corner of the Kerbal system on the strand. I'll bear that in mind, thank you. Um, oh no! I've had a notification saying a message has been held for review for offensive comment. Do you know what the comment was, guys? 
It was from the Space Channel, and the comment was, subscribe to Matt. And YouTube thought that was an offensive comment. <gasps> no! I wanted to take a snipping tool screenshot of that, and I had to press shift to take that, and I forgot that I'm playing a video game. Oh no! It's all gone wrong! <gasps> oh no, guys, this is so fucking bad. Um, I need to fix this. I can't see because my fan is blowing into my face. Oh my gosh, drama, excitement. Let's make a quick save to mark this occasion. Disaster. Okay, let's assess the situation. What did I do? I burned that way. So let's just burn the other way. <laughs> and it'll all be fine. Where's the mum? There it is. Just really concentrating now. Crisis averted. And we can all, we can all relax. The Space Channel, how could you? How could you suggest people to subscribe to Matt? Um, have I missed any super chats, by the way? Um, Admin CJP Anonymous has suggested $4.99. Thank you so much. And, uh, Wal oh, well, hang on. My super chat window is just closed for some reason. Yeah, Wolf Arzo super chatted $2. Thank you for being my inspiration. You're very welcome. I'm glad I could be your inspiration. Oh, God. Everyone was replying with their 500k suggestions, and I was busy panicking about um, the mission going wrong. Draw My Life seems to be like a popular thing though, isn't it? Is that still a thing though? Like, I don't know. My life's already not that interesting. I don't think. It's just a fairly standard, really. You know? <laughs> what is your favourite space mission slash ship? Hmm. That's interesting. My favourite one, like, coming up is definitely, without a doubt, Europa Clipper. That's going to be amazing. Um, the hypothetical Dragonfly mission would also be very, very good. I guess um, ones that have already happened, just off the top of my head, um, Cassini Huygens is very, very cool, right? That's the furthest lander we've ever... Like, there is a robot on a moon of Saturn. That's amazing. Like, there are photos of a moon of Saturn. And it looks like it could have been on Earth. That's crazy to me. Like, the Cassini Huygens mission, that was amazing. Obviously, all the Pioneer missions, great. Like, Pioneer 10 left the solar system. And the Voyager missions need no introduction. Like, there's a lot. Another really cool hypothetical mission I really like is the, um... I guess it's a solution to a puzzle about how you would send a rover to Venus. Because Venus's atmosphere is so deadly and like the surface is so hostile that like if you were to make just, I don't know, the Perseverance rover as an example, the solder would melt. Like electronics will not survive on that surface. The temperature's too high and everything else about the Venus surface, it wouldn't work. So one NASA proposition was to make like a clockwork robot. Actually, clockwork. Reinstate my fans location on my desk. Now I haven't got a panic about you know, 
fixing my 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 blunders, if you will. This is why I added, you know, redundancy amounts of fuel to this this mission. Uh, but yeah, one solution was that you would make a clockwork robot, so it wouldn't need electronics because um, it runs on clockwork. But then the answer is, how do you make it communicate things back to Earth? And the solution was to have like a, a similarly um, a clockwork powered. How 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 was it again? This is like years ago. I, I learned about this. So basically, it, there's like a um, an emitter on the surface, or like there's this like radioactive thing on the back of the rover that an orbiting satellite can detect, and the rover can occlude this surface using a dial, and then by using a series of like coordinated occlusions you can communicate to the satellite through morse code findings that the rover makes um it was very complicated and i didn't really understand a lot of it because you know, i'm a bit thick and um, <laughs> and this was several years ago so i'm pulling off that so but uh, yeah that was a really fascinating concept like wow yeah they're, they're looking at using clockwork to make rovers on the surface of venus that's really cool um so yeah space mission ships i hope that answers that question there Oh my god, so I just had, there was a brief moment of silence there, because I just had a mini heart attack, brought to you by Cerelios, who has very kindly pledged $4.99 US dollars, a super chat, who said, Matt, sh um, shut down the engine. I read that, and then panicked, thinking, oh my god, the engine's still running. Uh, but you're absolutely right, why didn't I do that sooner? I'm going to quick save now. I was saying, in case the game crashes or something like that. <laughs> yes, he said they've suggested Matt shut down the engine to avoid another mishap. Would you consider recreating historic vehicles to add to your storyline? Perhaps the James Webb's telescope or Cassini mission. So, <sighs> space probes. Actually, that's it. Space probes. So robots like the James Webb or the Cassini mission. I feel don't really lend themselves that well to interesting context. Like I, I have to like base my what I think would be good content based on what I'd want to watch and I think like part of the charm of Curl Space program is right down here these little guys down here like the little Kerbal portraits they just add something nice and like planting a flag and seeing their happy faces it really makes the mission and I think robotic missions they just don't have the same charm to them so I, I can't see myself recreating a robotic mission James Webb maybe but there are, I, I, like, I will freely admit that recreations, accurate recreations, I should say, are not my strong suit. Um, so I would leave it to, like, much more competent players to recreate the James Webb Space Telescope's, like, unfolding process, process for example. So I, I can't say I've had any plans to recreate robotic missions. But uh, certainly, like, my series Space Race Speedrun is, like, geared toward recreating the manned missions of the Golden Age of Space Flight. So... I guess yes and no would be my answer to your ultimate question. Uh, yeah. Matt Lamb, what is your favourite plane? For me, it's a toss-up between the SR-71, because, of course, and the F-111 Nighthawk. No. Aardvark. <laughs> it's getting late, guys. What time is it now? It's 23.25, I'm exhausted. The F-111 Aardvark is what I should have said. It's a swing-wing jet, dual-seater. It's a, it's a very big and clunky plane, but it was my favourite plane to play with in Tom Clancy's Hawks video game. And that's the extent of, like, I don't have, like, that much allegiance to aircraft. Like, oh, I, I. so it would be those two, really. Like, I have a lot of nostalgia associated with Tom Clancy's Hawks. I really liked flying the Aardvark. So that's my answer. I mean, that's, uh, that's what you get. Um, let's see. Do you know Piolet 1549? I do know, but well, I don't obviously know them, but I, I'm familiar with their channel. We're friends on Discord. So, yeah, and we've talked before, like using chat. So I, I know of them. Yes, I do. Um, a new node for Timer UI. Oh, you're right. Who said that? I need to give you credit. Mr. Cookie, I'm lifting up my fan. 
And moving it to the side. That's going to fall off there. So I'm going to put it down there. There we are. Yes, you're right. I'm going to press F5 in case I accidentally press spacebar. Yes, you're you're spot on. Thank you so much because I would have definitely forgot to try and line that up more properly. Let's get it dead on. There we go. I think that's pretty good. So I was just replying to a quick text just there. Uh, let's see. Right, there we are. So there's your timer now, guys. You can set your timer to 9 hours, 43 minutes. Oh, put my, uh, my fan back there. It's a quick water bottle stock check. Yep. Oh. So let's see. How we are. How are we doing? How are we doing on Super Chats? So yeah, Sam Bishop has pledged $2. Thank you very much, Sam Bishop. Next, you should do a real-time mission to Juno. So I've sort of made a response to these, like... Oh, I'm going to close the map UI, by the way, so we can see the ship again. <laughs> um, I've made, like, joke responses to all these comments about do Juno, do Elu. But, like, part of me has considered, like, maybe I could just, like upgrade my gpu or something and just build like a like a second pc that i won't ever use like my old like in 2019 i upgraded my computer so my old computer which was from like served me from 2016 to 2019 and it's still a pretty competent machine like it's got 64 gigabytes of ram it's got a decent processor i can't remember what it was it's a good it's a good i7 it's just sitting in the my my attic unused i'm like i could just repurpose that as like some sort of streaming machine so i could just do a real time like june emission that actually li lasts like literal years i can just have that computer just running and just running the mission and like i just recheck it every couple of months or something but then i think like the stress of that would get too much like when it came to the juna landing I think I'd probably die of a stress-induced heart attack. Like, that would be so bad. But, uh... Yeah. Th that's my answer to that question, if that even counts as an answer. I'm not sure. Uh, let's see. Any other super chats? Sort of looking through the chat, see if there's any interesting questions or anything. Guys, please pass me my Formula One predictions of the weekend. I don't care about Formula One. I'm really sorry. I just. It's not for me. It's not for me. I'm not denouncing the sport. I'm, I'm just saying it ain't, it ain't for me. Stargazer, remember Life on Lathe? I do. I made a Life on Lathe video like two weeks ago or three weeks ago. Admittedly, it was the first entry in that series in like a, a year. <laughs> but, but it was an entry nonetheless. I've had a super chat. Let's see. Are the Kerbals not worried about the engine suddenly firing up? Aha! Joe Colvin. Who, thank you for pledging $5, by the way. No, I have shut down the engine. As you can see, it is no longer visible. Like, you can't see the fuel gauge anymore. And that's because of a very wise comment from another commenter. Uh, whose name I don't remember now. But yes, they suggested disabling it. And I wholeheartedly agreed. Hence why I've now disabled it. Thank you for the donation, though. <sighs> oh. 
sorry, I was just uh, my mum texted me. <laughs> this is like, I hope your Friday night's going well. Forty six is going to be great. Yes. Um, let's see. We've had some super chats. Let's see. Okay. Iron Cat with the uh, O being spelled with a zero. So that's very very um, swift. Uh, hey Matt, love your content. How do you plan on spending your downtown da downtime? Obviously, I'm very tired now, guys. Uh, also, how long will this take in total? P.S. The SR-71 is the superior plane. I can't say you're, like, wrong. But I actually would like to withdraw my statement on the SR-71. Because I just remembered that the YF-12 exists. Which is basically the SR-71, but with a gun. Need I say more? Uh, yes, but how do I spend my, uh, my, my downtime? Since 2021, I've been super into cycling. Like, I have I bought, like, a kind of a mid-budget mountain bike hardtail just to do some city riding. And I've since bought a gravel bike. I, I realized I loved the sport. So I bought a gravel bike, a proper trail-ready hardtail. And then I've really recently bought this, like, insane carbon fiber, full suspension trail mountain bike. I've got super into it. If you want to see that, like, my second channel is now basically Matt doing hobbies. So, kayaking, mountain biking, road cycling, that sort of thing. So, yeah, if you want to see what I do in my downtime, check that out. Um, and thank you for the donation. Uh, Wim Beckers is very kind. 20 euros. That's not an insignificant amount. So, thank you so much. Uh, hey, Matt, you thought... Not to say that, that sounded really insincere. I'm just saying that's a that's a... That's a really generous amount of money. Uh, hey, Matt, you thought... Hey, Matt, you thought me KSP, which sparked my interest in aerodynamics... Oh, hang on. The chat has scrolled up too much. You you thought me KSP, which sparked me interest in aerodynamics, followed a drone course, going to start a new job using drones to monitor offshore wind farms. Thanks for the inspiration. Well, thank you. Well, you, I guess you're welcome. But, yeah, thank you for the very kind donation and my... Um, uh, but like, yeah, don't 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 disown yourself, you know. Like, um, you got yourself where you are, and um, I'm glad I could uh, serve as some inspiration for that. I've just done the super chat now, Cerulios again, Cerulios. I love you. Stop donating, you know. There's it's too much now. Is the um? Oh yeah, sorry. I was my volume just dropped for a second for some reason. Can't wait for the explosion of new Matt Lown content when a KSP2 is released. What new mechanics are you excited for? Perhaps an exploration series? Yeah, so, I mean, I don't know. I mean, part of me is, like, happy that it's going to be, well, I mean, yeah. When the game first comes out, it's going to be dead easy to pump out content because, yeah, it's a brand new game. Everyone's going to be super excited. But when the content starts to dry down, basically, I have a back catalogue in the hundreds of ksp1 i could basically just look at whatever video i did for a given day of that week so many years ago and just work through my back catalog recreating it all in ksp2 so i've got an unlimited number of resources um but I w i'm really interested in like multiplayer multiplayer i don't know how they're going to implement it and you know They've been very. They've been keeping their cards close to their chest, haven't they, KSP? And I cannot confirm or deny that I've spoken to KSP developers, you know, in in person. I cannot confirm or deny that. But um, if hypothetically I did, even then they were like still like couldn't say much. Hypothetically, of course. So I'm really curious to see like how they're going to do this. Because I can't, if it was given to me, like if Take-Two Interactive said to me, sort this out, I wouldn't know, I wouldn't know how to begin to approach the situation. So it's going to be really interesting to see how that plays out. But I, if it works out really well and it's like super accessible, like, I don't know, Mario Kart or COD or something, then yeah, I'm looking forward to like making videos with other people. It should be a really great experience. And yeah, that's... Uh, that was my very long-winded answer to that question.
Oh, some of this in the water. I'm like really flagging, guys, by the way. Like, um, I'm like free or free for bed soon, I think. Uh, let's see, um, on the sort of final death throes of my commentary for this live stream. I'm going to zoom in, actually. I'm just going to go so far. I mean, I'm very happy that clearly we're not encountering a blue screen of death. That's what I'm most happy about, really. Uh, let's see. Oh. Oh, no. BMGMN21. Matt, if a video is longer than 12 hours, YouTube deletes the older part of the video. Oh, no. Really? Well, that's... That sucks. Huh. Why am I even doing this then? Is that true? I actually feel like you might be onto something. Actually, I feel like I remember seeing that. Like, no, there's like videos longer than twelve hours. What? Well, there's a video on you. I just typed in the words longest YouTube video, and there's one that's like literally a hundred hours. Wait, I'm sorry. Like, can we, like, we need to answer this right now. Now, I'm now frantically Googling this. Oh, okay, I see, I see. Live streams have 12 hour limit. Okay. How long have I been streaming for? I've been live for two hours. Okay, so well, two and a half hours. Okay, fine. So when's my alarm set? My alarm is set for seven hours and 50, yeah, okay, so. Ah, oh, no, I see, yeah. You guys are right. Like, yeah, you can have videos that are longer than, like, however many hours. But if it's less than, if it's more than 12 hours, YouTube won't archive it. Okay, cool. Cool, okay. So that doesn't matter too much because when I wake up, it will be less than 12 hours. Okay, fine. Great. 
So, where are we now? Like I say, we've been live for 2 hours and 37 minutes. Okay, so when we get to the, um, this burn time here, let's see. That's too close, isn't it? So, a, a little bit before this, when we encounter the Mun, I will pause the live stream and then restart it immediately so that we can actually save the, um, the archive, basically. It's so warm in here. Oh my gosh. Stargazer has commented to a starship, but I've done three starship videos now. So just Google, or YouTube search even, uh, Matt Lowne Starship. I've done three, yeah, three videos on that now. Uh, what else happened? Are there any more super chats? Oh yes, there have been. So let's see. Electroid has super chatted five pounds. Thanks for all the great content. And Sam Bishop has super chatted two dollars. What are the minimum specs for KSP? Honestly, you don't need great specs. Look at any like if you go on my channel and then like look at the videos tab and search by like oldest first. My videos that I uploaded in 2015 were all recorded on a second-hand laptop from 2012, <laughs> and it had like it had like eight gigabytes or oh, six or eight gigabytes of RAM, something terrible. Uh, some crappy dual-core processor, and I was recording directly to an external hard drive. So yeah, if my average FPS got above my eight, it was a good day. So it, it was not good. So. Um, I guess minimum specs, if you're running a computer from like, or a laptop from after 2015, you're probably okay. <laughs> Let's see. Joe Calvin has said, uh, 10 US dollars, please set your alarm clock and sleep a much needed rest. I have to agree. I have probably like exhausted myself and, uh, yeah, I'm reaching my, uh, my, my, my limit here. I'm going to, um, I think I'm, I'm, I'm going to just, uh, I might just intermittently check in to the live stream, but I think I need to, um, just do that. I just, I might just read my book for a bit. I'm reading a book called, um, Frostbike by Tom Babin. Highly recommend it. Or Tom Babin, maybe. He's from the YouTube channel Shifter. Highly recommend it. Frostbike. I love it. Great book. Love it, love it, love it. Can't recommend it enough. And, uh, yeah. What is my assistant time now? 23.45. Yeah. Cool. Well, I might, uh, I might leave it there for now. Um, see how things go. Uh, I might pop in later. I might pop in later. But I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna duck out of the stream for now. Uh, so if you send a super chat, then obviously I am eternally grateful, but I will not be able to respond to it because I have, uh, I'm only human and, uh, we've got a lot to look forward to tomorrow morning. You know, for, for morning for me, anyone else at <laughs> different times this might have a different experience. But for me, it's going to be tomorrow morning. We've got a lot to look forward to. We've got the Mun circularization. We've got the Mun landing or... Or, and I cannot, 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 cannot stress this enough, the computer might blue screen of death. Who was hit? Comment if you were there for that whole debacle at the beginning of this screen, the, the beginning of this stream, where my computer kept blue screening of death and I couldn't start the stream. It was a nightmare. Um, so there is every chance that my computer might blue screen of death tonight, and then there can't be anything tomorrow. I would like to hope that would happen, but. I ain't got a magic ball in front of me, and who knows. 
So I will bid thee adieu. And uh, yeah, yeah. Someone says you're losing speed. Either you're talking about my nav ball reading, which is normal because we're heading deeper and deeper into space, or you're, le you're losing speed in terms of my ability to speak, uh, which is completely true. So I'm going to leave it there. So thank you guys for joining thus far. Oh, someone's just pledged something, I think. No. I don't think they have. If you have, I'm, I'm very sorry. But I, I, I will, um, I'm going to go now. Good, good goodbye. And uh, guys, set your alarms for this time. Yeah? Nine hours. Bit nine hours from now, things should be up and running again. And that's it. Goodbye.
Thank you. 